Of course, you do this to me too. You do this to me too on the same day of, of this trial. You do this to me. You do this to me as well. You spite me. You hurt me. <laughs> Damn you. I don't even I don't even care that this is live right now. This is Kingdom Hearts fault and I hate it. So mad. I'm so mad. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. 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 Turn that off. Stop. Stop. No. <laughs> Why are there two of you? Oh my god. Where are you? Where are you and why are you hiding? No, don't do this to me again. <laughs> Why are there so many of you? 
Okay, you have to be underneath that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Where are you? <laughs> A reactive image is on. I don't know where it is. There you are. There. No, this one's off. Okay, this is... Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, there you are. There you are. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. To pog out to cage. <laughs> This game is, is misery. It hurts me already. I started this play Iro Phantasmophobia exactly. I um I'm so glad that I, I sat down to start streaming early today, 30 minutes early. Um, because uh suddenly uh OBS decided that it did not like my capture card, so I had to get that fixed. And then when it was working, it was registering the card. It was picking something up. Um, it was then not picking up the uh, Kingdom Hearts credits that I kept playing on loop for some reason. It was picking up the sound, but not the video. <laughs> and I tweeted that out because I legitimately thought I'm going to be 20 minutes late for my own stream. Uh, because fucking Kingdom Hearts can't help but burn me at every single opportunity it's given. Um, but unfortunately, it's working. So, we're playing Kingdom Hearts 2. OBS po Hearts 42069 Pogs. Why is the Kingdom Hearts game called 352 Days by 2? Why is it called that? Why, why did they do that? Why are they asking me to divide 358 by 2? Because I can't do it off the top of my head. It's not going to happen. I gotta adjust my mic stand. By the way, um, I've ordered a new mic stand that is less precarious and more fitted for this mic. And hopefully it'll be here on Monday. A little hoy is a treat. A little hoy. Ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs> Ahoy. I'm gonna sip it just so I can say hoy. Hoy. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that bone worm. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab something real quick. I'm gonna grab another pillow to prop my little, my poor little aging back up with. <laughs> and then we'll start this stream. Hello everybody. Hello everyone. Uh, Mathis and Silk Velvet, who I have not seen in a bit, but I like very much. Their new V-Roid model looks wonderful. Bone worm zero <laughs> and luck. Pillow, pillow for me. Fucking hell, man. Goddamn. Kingdom Hearts, goddamn. I don't even remember what happened. I just know that uh, uh, one of the characters has an ex wife. <laughs> yes. So many fun sound effects. <laughs> this is what we do here. I watched Hana do your model. Uh, silk and it looks it looks good. It was really good. I really enjoy um, I'm still adjusting the mic <laughs> watching them do uh, V-Ray models because I just like watching their whole ordeal. It's really interesting. I like lurking on their streams and, and working while they work <laughs> Hello Ez. Hello I'm gonna load the game right away
because I'm afraid of the title music because I think the title music is is Disney music that they don't like. Sorry, I've been trimping too much lately, so my back kind of hurts, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> and let's transition over here. And let's hit this button to turn that off. And we'll hit this button to turn that off. And we'll hit this button. And we'll go down to you, and you're fine, and I'm fine. And I don't know what's making that noise, but I don't like that, so I'm gonna turn that down. Disney gonna Disney, it's true. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there are children outside. That's what that noise is. That's not my computer. That's children. Okay. You don't mess with the mouse. No, you never do. I have no respect for the mouse, but I am afraid of what the mouse could do to me as far as ruining my life and uh, my, my finances. What flavor Bruce would you like? We have a wide menu now. I need a bot that can read off all my, my Bruce options to chat. What were we doing? Why are we here? Goofy, why can't you get that for me? Goofy, you're like twice my height. Okay. Is Coco Bruce available? Uh, are they? Are they, are they, are they? Coconut. I'm going coconuts here. Are you available? I'm remembering a meme I like very much. <laughs> right now. Yes, I think I can make you available. Hold on while I make this uh, funny little picture available. <laughs> No, don't make noise at me. Oh, it's already here? Okay. This is t definitely responsible. I'm just keyboard mashing to name this file. Because apparently it's a duplicate of something. It's very confusing. I've also apparently stopped in this child's way and now they can do nothing about it. Which makes me feel very powerful. Never mind, she turned away. Coco nut. I apparently I spelled Coco butt, but that'll have to do. For now. I can't read. Where would you like this funny little fish? Coco goes. This is another masterpiece by Lone Wolf Lock. A good tuber. If she's a ninja, she's doing a terrible job because I can see her very clearly right now. It's hanging out with me. Okay, I'll have a little draw. I'll have a little sippy of myself. Actually, I hate coconut water. Yes, Lock drew that, and Lock drew our little friend that occupies the chat to keep an eye on you to make sure you're doing safe stuff. What am I doing? What am I doing, everybody? Oh, okay. A little gift. It's a little gift I treasure. It's currently my Discord icon. <laughs> I like it very much. I'm gonna turn my own volume up just a smidge. Fight Mr. X. Okay, I could fight Mr. X. I would love to see uh, Mr. X in this game. How do I fight? Donald Duck, shut up.
Okay, I'm just kind of button mashing right now. I feel like that's the meta. I've actually, I have this weird problem where I've suddenly hit a point where a couple people have drawn funny little pictures for me and I like them very much and I really want to use them everywhere, but I don't have that many accounts. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> What am I supposed to do? I don't have this, that many accounts. I want to have them all, but I... Wesker does the monologues a lot like Kingdom Hearts villains. You're right. You you shouldn't say it, but you're right. Can I double jump? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's what I'm doing. You could make them all a little add a Bruce like this, maybe? That's true. I could make them all add a Bruce's. But then I'll reach a critical point where I have so many Bruce's that we we get lost in the the bo the bo weeds, the Bruce weeds. I just want to love and respect these cute funny little pictures. By the way, I should have opened the stream with this, but full disclosure, I'm anticipating that if I get a little too angry, we might switch to a different game. Um, I did buy a new game uh, earlier this week, or last week, I think. I don't remember. Uh, time flies. Uh, when this is all you do. Um, uh, we might switch to that as a little surprise, or we might play a little Final Fantasy as a treat. <laughs> just in case I get too tired and too mean, and we just need to, like, take ten. <laughs> so, like, full disclosure with that, like, just don't be angry with me if I decide I need ten minutes to play Final Fantasy as a treat. Fingus fantasies, yes. Oh, that's true. I just need to figure out how to get Night Band. Night Band. He should be. Night Bot should be called Night Band at this point. Because that's all it does. Uh. Uh. Oh my god, what was I gonna say? I totally lost everything. I'm tired. <laughs> I have to get my polar bear. I see the polar bear and I want the polar bear. I desire the polar bear. I don't have to pay for it, do I? Okay, it's from the event. I I think I may or may not have finally finished Heaven's Ward. I keep thinking I finally finished Heaven's Ward, and then it keeps going. Um... <laughs> So my dragon dude sits on it funny. My dragon uh, lady is probably going to sit on it funny as well. By the way, I'm not hearing voices either. Um, I This game has an option or options for streaming. And for some reason, when you view and, and go through them, it turns the voices off. I have, I have no idea what that's about. At one point, I thought it was because the game had not fully finished downloading. But um, it's it's here. I've checked for updates many times, and it just doesn't work. Oh yeah, I saw that. I'm gonna mash. I'm gonna mash it. Wiggly bitches, exactly. <laughs> bitches be like, wiggly. Oh, there's so many over here. I don't like that. What happened? Oh, I failed. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm hitting buttons. I'm hitting many buttons. I don't think the combat is going to turn out to be much. Because he is hyper -grid. Oh, uh, I could see that. I could see that um, the performances could trigger a, like a DMCA or something. Especially with like signature voices like Goofy and stuff. Because at one point I was going to say thanks to the game for having an option or like the ability to see um, uh, DMCA things and like prepare for them ahead of time or like something like that, but then it just like turns stuff off. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying. Yes? Can I use this? Excuse me? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> it's very litigious about his voice. Continue. Oh my god, I would love that. I would kind of love it if the only voice that you could hear at all times was Mickey Mouse. Or like they redubbed everything with Mickey Mouse. Just so they could like really dig it in. That this was their game and you're only playing it because they allow you to. Welcome to our world. No, just let me run away. I've had enough. I'm tired. I'm already tired. Skip scene. Take me right to the good stuff. And by the good stuff, I mean hitting A. Really hard. By the way, people joke about Leon Kennedy, but if this game had Leon Kennedy in it, I would be so much more, like, up for it. Uh, is this good? Can I do this? Oh, I have to aim it. No, it just hits me. What? Ha why does it let me do that? Welcome to our world, Disney World. I, okay, I started watching this dude and I might have said this before, I can't honestly remember, um, but he reviews food, but he only has four words to describe food, and it drives me nuts. And one of the things he did was like eat at the Disneyland parks, and he said that like almost everything was good, and like it drove me nuts, because I don't like people who do that kind of thing. No, it just made me dead. <laughs> It would be really funny to see Leon Kennedy pull out, like, you're right, like a full-ass gun. And be like... <laughs> later, alligator. And... Because he would say something stupid, like, later, alligator. That's him. That's a canon character trait of Leon Kennedy. He says stupid stuff like, no thanks, bro. Like, in a serious heated moment, like, he's facing down with the head of umbrella, and he's like, no thanks, bro. Your hand comes off. And, and he would be like, later, alligator, and then he would fucking shoot Goofy with a gun. Just a real gun. Skip this scene, please. No! And what is this bead on the floor that does things. What is this? I have... Okay, to be fair, I have not played this game in a while. I don't know if I've got this. What is this magical orb on the floor? And why does it bother me so? I wasn't facing the right way when I cast my magic spell. And apparently it doesn't matter. How do I 
how do I dodge? How do I attack roll? How do I, how do I, how do I, what, when are my, what are my iframes like? All I remember of this game is the clip of Snuffy yelling very harshly at Goofy because, or no, it's at Donald because Donald won't jump. And just like sitting on the floor screaming, Donald, what the fuck is wrong with you? For like 30 minutes. And that's all the all that I know about the the hardcore parkour action of late game game Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh I won! Ow. So it's here to hurt the nobodies. Oh, okay. 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 Sorry, my water bottle do the hissy. I hate the eyes. I hate them. 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 I don't like it. Oh, hold on. Let me move my phone so it's not sitting on the console. That's getting very hot. It's Leon Leon Hart. That would be very Kingdom Hearts though. Leon Leon Hart is is very appropriate for the setting. Gas squad assemble. Why are your arms so noodly, bro? Bro, why you why you looking like spaghetti on the street? Damn, dude, got spaghetti up in here. Fuck, that's stupid. Oh fuck, it's the clown. This clown? Demi X? Demi X? Wandering around in FX right now with the <laughs> birth of big lady and I'm crying. I think that's Zigbar. Zigbar and Demix are the same levels of bad. He said as if. Is this the dude with the guitar? Is this the guitar? No, okay. Because he's talking about performance. Is bitch. <laughs> Do you think he can play Wonderwall? I bet he could. I bet you could ask any Kingdom Hearts person. Like, you could approach anyone in Kingdom Hearts, any of the human characters, and be like, hey, can you play Wonderwall? And they would be like, of course. Obviously. Has a gun. <laughs> oh, good. Without the voices being able to see their face, I have no idea which one is which. Yeah. Oh, look, I have a D Disney credit card. Great. Sora is like 12. Should he really have that? Are we really going to give him a credit card? How is he going to be able to establish a line of credit? He has no money. They're needlers from Halo. Actually, that's sick as hell. I fully admit, I enjoy some clownery. I enjoy a clownish design on occasion, because I think that that can be a wild aesthetic I enjoy. He's 15. Still, a 15-year-old doesn't know how to manage their credit. Oh my god, the magical item is the credit card. I'm gonna <laughs> lose my mind. Oh, and I'm shooting it with a gun. Okay, so never mind. He's denouncing it. He's, he's, he, okay. He's denounced capitalism. He's decided that he doesn't want it, Mom. So it's kind of dumb in general, though. That seems to be true. Fuck your capitalism. By the way, can I add, this is unrelated. This is me taking a random shot. 
like I I'm standing here like on the podium and I just reach down and I take a shot at Final Fantasy 14. Um, people have told me that Biggs and Wedge are references to other Final Fantasy characters. Can I just be like, I don't give a fucking shit who they are. I'm tired of them. I don't want to see them anymore. Take them out of my funny anime cat girl game. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm up here and I'm using my platform to say that if, if someone has a fan patch that removes Big and Wedge, I will gladly download it and I will tell everybody on stream that I am using the the mod that removes their characters entirely from the game. Because like literally all they do is pad scenes out with their not funny games. <laughs> I would rather come back and watch the Kingdom Hearts destroy your credit card with a gun scene. Star Wars characters also don't matter. Sid is tolerable. I wish actually that they would cut the Biggs and Wedge stuff so that they could talk more about Sid because Sid apparently knows more. And he's like, okay. He's like an uncle whom I tolerate on the holidays when I have to see him. But Biggs and Wedge are like my cousins who I just don't like. And this guy is out here playing Pokemon at the business meeting and I'm a little offended. Sid is fine. Sid is is fine. Sid is occasionally an interesting character in a cutscene who can tell you something because he knows stuff. Um, but he unfortunately travels with a bunch of people whom I care very little for. I I was talking to Locke the other day that um I, I'm I've finally met Alphanod's sister, and I think that she's completely reasonable. I don't mind her. But I'm really mad that um, the first time she appears in the story is after, is like while I'm, she's like dying while I'm having a date uh, with, with Lord Emmerich in his wonderful house in wonderful casual clothing, enjoying like a, a nice glass of wine and inviting him to come out with me more often because I enjoy his company and we're having good conversation. And then someone runs in and is like, Alphanod's sister is here and she's dead. And I'm just like, can you tell me this tomorrow? Can you tell me it after the dessert course? Because we're having, we're, we're currently engaged in something a little bit more interesting here. Thank you. I've had enough. <laughs> What's that? What's this? No, thank you. Proceed, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> She's fine. I, I do not mind her at all. She's perfectly tolerable. Uh, she is a little bit more interesting than Alphanod in the sense that she just doesn't agree with everything. Oh, there's so many things. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> nope. Fine. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Girl, just pick a pre-made one. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. So it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Space simulator. <laughs> Alphanod's sister is more tolerable than the gummy sh sip sh ship section in Kingdom Hearts 1. Alphanod, it's a it's a toughie. Occasionally Alphanod is worse than the gummy ship section in Kingdom Hearts 1. Sometimes. This is very, very PlayStation. <laughs> I don't mind it. I like the PlayStation quite a bit. It's just extremely PlayStation. I know. I know. And once was enough. Once was so much of enough that when um, famous streamer as your butterfly um, approached me and asked me and like presented me and was like, I will pay you this much money 
to uh, finish all, like, if you can finish all three Kingdom Hearts games on stream. And, like, we had to seriously discuss, like, this is a deal breaker. I will not play Kingdom Hearts 1 again because I cannot tolerate it. <laughs> that is a discussion I had to have. <laughs> so Are you offering me so many gifted subs to to complete some video games? Like a good amount. Uh, fine. I think got me shipping your first game. I don't know what this is. Is that a pro move or is that a new move? Noob move. Am I not playing the meta correctly? This is ever so slightly more tolerable, but that is not saying very much. This is not saying a lot. The gummy ship stuff from 2 and 3 are pretty cool. This seems a bit more like a bullet hell. The last one seems like the worst parts of every parkour puzzle game I've ever played. I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> this isn't as bad as falling glass bruise, probably. <laughs> it's true. There are so many like bogus Twitter accounts I would love to make, and now that I've said it out loud, um, VTuber or blank thing is not as bad as the gummy ship in Kingdom Hearts 1, or blank thing is as bad as the gummy ship in Kingdom Hearts 1 would probably actually be really funny. I actually might like that a lot. Imagine like a, a Twitter like that and it's like Tony Hawk is not as bad as the gummy ship section in Kingdom Hearts 1. Kendall Jenner eating a Kit Kat is just as bad as the gummy ship section in Kingdom Hearts 1. I love those gimmick accounts. <laughs> if you if you were watching the, the car stream uh, when I came on for a little bit and was judging VTubers, and you saw the video of um, uh, Courtney Jenner, I think it was Courtney, because it was Qu Quirky Courtney, uh, eating the Kit Kat, uh, I am so sorry. Um, but that video has been in my mind for ages, and the fact that other people have seen it now uh, gives me incredible peace. <laughs> No, I want to go here. How do I get here? <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. The tried and true never stop blasting. Well, can I hold down the button to fire or do I have to mash? Because it made me mash. And I actually don't like that in my bullet hell games. I like to just hold down the fire button and like maintain. Personally. All my favorite Toho games are hold the fire. Yeah, the fact that she ate the Kit Kat that way and she was like, it's less calories. There's a lock on and shoot if you hold it. Okay. That's good. This is a horrid version of this effect, by the way. I know this was on the PS2, but uh, that's, a, that's a model being animated and they could have they could have made it a little bit better. Bear acquired. <laughs> What kind of bear? Shut the fuck up, Goofy. Oh my god, when I was at the zoo, the zoo has a new uh, baby polar bear. It has a new cub. Oh my god, she was so cute. I watched her pester her mom. For like 30 minutes. I took little videos. I think her name is Aurora. The new little baby. She's adorable. I know that she could like kill me in a single swipe. Because she's already like several hundred pounds. But I mean that doesn't make me not want to. Pick that little bear up and squish its little bear face. Hold its little bear paws. 
See if you can do a little bear blep. A little meal. I imagine bear paws are just as soft as puppy paws. And I imagine they smell a bit corn chippy, just like regular puppy paws. And I want to put them on my face. I want to pick them up. I want to press them around. And then I want to put the whole paw on my face and see what it feels like. Is there any part of the Kingdom Hearts bit where they're like, is is there any Kingdom Hearts crossover moment? Is there any moment where they're talking to a film character that's not kind of cringe? Because I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that's the name of the game, buddy. <laughs> Can you hear the knockoff Eddie Murphy? Oh, they have a fake Eddie Murphy. <gasps> oh, I want to hear. That was, I, I didn't have to hear that being spoken aloud to hear that it was extra cringe. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> like a dissonant whisper. Don't like this font either. In party, okay. Uh, goodbye, Donald. I am replacing you with Goofy. As much as I would like Goofy to perish. Okay, okay. How badly do I want Goofy to perish? Pretty bad. Uh, pretty bad. I want Goofy to go off the cliff and then he do the yo-ho yar thing where he makes the funny, funny noise. Um, but I think it would be even funnier to hear, like, like that vine. No, the, the it, it's not a vine anymore. That TikTok of the dude sleeping and he's like, dude, you got to get up. And he kicks him and he rolls like off a cliff. How funny would that be if that dude was Donald Duck? I think that video would be a hundred times funnier if it was Donald Duck. And so that makes me think that I should not have Donald Duck because that's the image I want to maintain in my mind of what happened to him. But <laughs> is that... <laughs> Never, no, I was about to say, does team composition matter? Because I don't have any magicians, but it does, it, it's fucking Kingdom Hearts, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, there's a shop. Does this matter? I want, I want potion, I want mummy. Uh, okay. Do you not, do you not think about that kind of thing? Do you not think about how funny it would be for certain vines or TikToks to be replaced with your enemies? I think it would be very, very funny. Only benefits you by healing you sometimes, and that's not enough for me. It's gotta be reliable. The team comp kind of matters, but mostly not really, okay. I would like to say something like, I bet it matters more in the end game, but I don't know if that's true. I don't know if there is an end game to Kingdom Hearts. By the way, I swear this is gonna be, no, this is not gonna be my last major complaint for the night because I'm playing Kingdom Hearts. Donald Duck, Stop it. You got rabies. Don't spread that, babe. <laughs> he rabbit. I'll put this in my pocket for later. Donald! <laughs> he, got, he got twitch rabies. <laughs> Oh, that face does not translate well. <gasps> I 
Shrimp! He said it. He said shrimp. Oh my god, this game invented shrimping. <gasps> there we go. Shrimp. You're not going to talk about the duck? You're seriously going to look over this lineup and not be like, what the fuck? That's a, that's a duck. That's a human-sized duck. In the military camp. He could be stealing secrets. Or what about the man-sized dog? I kind of wish someone would be like, yo, what the fuck that <laughs> Yo, what the duck doing? What the dog doing? What the dog doing? Ow! My... 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 I don't know what to call these things. You're kind of cute. You're stealing my balls. My my ball. Stop. That's not nice of you. Stop hitting Mulan. Like a turtle with a dog head or an octopus. What? People know there are other worlds, but we gotta disguise ourselves. Oh, okay. I, I think I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the the um bop, uh little mermaid. That's what you're talking about. Can you at least make eye contact with me when you talk to me? No, I guess not. I don't think his eyes can move. I actually think the Mer Octopus is really cool. I think that people don't do it enough, but I really don't want it to be Donald Duck. I've seen weirder. Uh, yeah, just be like, okay. What province are you from? Cool. And just end the conversation there, and that would be enough. At least have the gag be that everyone accepts it at face value. That everyone's just like, oh, yep, that's a duck. It is a duck the size of a child, and it's okay. Hold on, I'm going to move in my chair. This is a 12 year old. This is a 12 year old. This is a child. It's a child.
Sorry. It took me a lot of reorganizing for a second. I switched. I basically switched the side everything was on. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I have to move this up a little bit. Oh no, hold on. My morale. Ah. <laughs> Mulan. I actually, Mulan was one of very few Disney movies my parents would let me watch. Because my parents didn't let me or my brother watch Disney movies. Because they kind of knew better than that. <laughs> Um, so I remember liking it quite a bit. I have not seen it in a long time. I'm bleeding morale here. Oh, no, I've lost. That was a killing blow to me. Okay. Okay, and now I'm really grouchy about it. Valid. I would be too. Valid. Reasonable. Let's, let's go to a different area. Nope, never mind. Just kidding. It's the same mission. Same concept. I am continuing to press A. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, fellas. I got this. Don't worry, homies. This is a new controller. Works like works like butter. Don't worry. I was going to say don't worry, Goofy, but no, I want you to worry, Goofy. I want you to be on edge. I don't want you to know what's going to happen next. How do I aim? <laughs> Because sometimes I lock on and sometimes I do not. Okay. I figured it out, I think. Just kidding. I wasn't facing the right way, so it didn't count. Y'all got a shovel? Oh, worm. <laughs> no! You know that's not what I meant. You know that I have I have not a single ounce of, of anything for Goofy in my body other than hatred, other than anger. Goofy exists only in my mind as an, as an aspect of, of evil. I have never actually seen Mulan. I... I, I, in, in hindsight, for, like, like, capitalism reasons, don't think I can be like, hey, check out Mulan, it's not a bad movie, because I just don't support the, the practices being done. And you're not going to be able to view this movie for free, you're definitely going to have to pay for it in some way, and so I'm not into that, you know what I mean? I'm like, nah, don't, if, if you can avoid it, don't. Just don't buy it, because I don't think it's worth paying the money. <laughs> what is that? What? What is that? Yeah. 
Can I do like a flip? Can I do a flip? No. I don't know why I'm obsessed with do a flip, but I'm really obsessed with do a flip. It's like my favorite like thing. I don't know. I have no reason why. I have no solid justification for it. It's just if presented with an option, like what do you want me to do for you? I would be like do a flip. Back clip. You just want to parkour. I do. I've never really been able to do that kind of thing. I'm just like kind of a, a weak little artist. Blender, Blender from Futurama is a good one. I do remember that quite a bit. Um, I'm mostly thinking though of that video in my mind, like as far as delivery, of the, the dude who's driving around at night. And like there's like a naked dude running around in the street behind him and he rolls down his window and he's like, do a flip! And the guy like does like a standing backflip and then keeps running. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> do a flip! Oh! Ah! Sharkor. Sharkor sounds like the name of another VTuber. <laughs> oh shoot, that's right. I have a D&D &D idea. A D&D. -a. And I don't know what to do with it. And I think that would make a cool campaign setting. I'll leave an impression. Eyes emoji. I, it's a, oh god, I think it's a vine actually. I think it might be a vine. It's really funny. Like I said, it's a dude just like running in the street naked, like barefoot. And he's running like at the speed of a car and he does like a standing flip. It's super impressive. <laughs> but I have an idea for a D&D &D setting that's like a valley. And on one end of the valley is a cavern and on the other end is a mountain. And on top of the mountain would be a sphinx. And in the cavern would be a beholder. And it would be like a town that's like split between the beholder is fine, we should get rid of the sphinx, and people who are like, the sphinx is good, we should get rid of the beholder. And that's the conflict. You have to be in this town and pick a side. But I don't know how to turn that into a D&D campaign. Um, I think that it's interesting that not all beholders are evil, and not all sphinx are truly good. And I think that would be fun to play with. Give me the thingy. I want the thingy. I think it would be fun to deal with a, a polite beholder and a sphinx that's like, fuck you. Disrespectful. You good? <laughs> okay. It's just a little slip and slidey. Hard part might be getting yeah. The hard part would be it would have to be a very thinky, a, a very thinky man's campaign, and you'd have to find a way to make it interesting. You have to find a party that would work with it. But I think that could be a fun idea. Question mark. I've been go. I like looking through the monster manual on occasion, and when I went through, I was like, how interesting that, uh, especially that Spanx can be, uh, like just straight up bastards <laughs> they're divine but they can also just be like kind of like huge jackasses they are truly cats deep down I've had enough of these dudes I've had enough of these men's show me the last of the men's get rid of them <laughs> And that's all I got. That's all I do. Is look at cool monsters and think that could be fun. And then I have no ability to do anything with it. I have too many thoughts in my, my, my head jail. My head prison. Where is the man? I'm gonna die. 
Why is this so hard? Can I just do two missions twice? I just... I, I want to make cool things. I want to make cool things all the time. But one, I have a, a frail little body that, that does not allow for that kind of frequent work production. I'm clinically depressed. I don't got nothing in my brain case. And I got fish fingers. I got fish finnies. Fish paws, yeah. Old Grandpa Fish Paws. Can't do nothing. Grandpa Fish Paws is illiterate. You don't have paws, but we'll continue to draw with them. Yes. I have little flitsies. I have tiny little fitsies. But I don't have hands. Can you, like, make eye contact? Can you stop looking past people? That's very disrespectful. I know that's not... I know you're in power or whatever, but, like, can you, like... Please. I appreciate the pauses, by the way. I'm not 18 feet long. I never fucking learned how to read. It's true. That's why that sign says bread me. Um, one of the first memes I've made uh, for, for myself um, is a, a meme of... Uh, uh, it's like this picture of a bread box and it says if you want to be bread so bad get in and I I like evil stupid like dyslexia brain looked at it and was like uh, Bread b-r-e-a-d not b-r-e-e-d And so I put myself in a bread box and I was like finally and then like literally as I was about to post that meme I was like oh fuck that's not what this is about <laughs> It took me an entire day of looking at that picture to be like, wait a second. Oh, Mountain Trail. No. I don't know how to read. I got no brains. I just like pretty colors. No, I want you to hit. I want you to hit. Yes, hitting. This is a terrible segue into saying that also I remembered a comic I did in college. And there was no dialogue in it because I didn't want to write dialogue because I'm really bad at dialogue. I was not playing to my strengths. I was hiding from my weaknesses. No, get me out of here. No. I'm tired of ghosts. I'm tired of ghosts. I'm not tired of birds, though. I'm tired of Donald Duck, but Donald Duck doesn't really count. Donald Duck's more of like a, a biped. 
than a duck. No hit. Please hit. <laughs> Oh my god, do I not have... <gasps> Apparently I'm not invincible while I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Good. No touching! <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting ragged all around! I guess I am a child. To be fair, I'm a child. I am a, a, a child. It would make sense that I would get beat up in a fight. Obviously. Stop windmilling me. By the way, is the whole mechanic of this game picking up bubbles? Is that what I'm going to do the whole time? Yeah. Not that I, I mind terribly. I think it's easy enough. But I mean, how many times can they tell me to pick up the bubbles? Stop. <laughs> Oh no, not Kingdom Hearts. Yes, Kingdom Hearts. Item. High potion. Me, please. I'm being harassed by ghosts. Yes, it's the the remake available right now. It's the cheapest way to buy both of the games, which is why I bought them this way. Yes, also, hello, Nura. Hello. No, I don't want to deal with the horse. Mulan, get up here. Mulan. Thank you. <laughs> Am I not um, uh, immune to the anim- Like, do I not have iframes? Is that why I keep getting bodied during these like animated parts? The game likes bubbles and and balls and wobbles. No, apparently I'm not immune yet. <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? I gave up and quit. I guess. Hold on, I'm gonna have a big sip of water. When MP is empty, uh, MP will be recharged until it's full. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm a big sippy. Zoom in on chat. Can I also complain that I bought some of these super stuffed Oreos? Because I like the ones with lots and lots of frosting. 
and all the frosting is concentrated in the middle. It's not edge to edge, and I hate that. I think it's an appropriate amount of filling, but it's just not distributed properly. Yeah, I... Maybe it would have been too complicated for the system. No, because the PS2 is pretty powerful. It wasn't like ultra strong, but you could have you could have done some invincibility. I don't like that. I'm eating an Oreo cookie. I hope that's okay. I'm eating the top half of the Oreo cookie. I'm saving the part with filling for later. <laughs> Real ship. I would love to see the um, the uh, Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner, the the that no, that's what it is the the Kardashian sister eat an Oreo in the most like bizarre way possible, and then tell me that it it makes it less calories. I'd be so into that. Make me a new 2021 version of that video where it's eating an Oreo. I'm gonna have a big sip of water. I'm sorry. Now I'm checking my Twitch notifications on my phone. Oh, I'm missing an Emery stream. Oh, damn. At least I get to see a good VOD player. <laughs> a VOD layer later. I have a number of VODs in my queue right now that. Um, I'm now I've now I've picked up the 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 PlayStation 4 controller, so the Xbox One. Okay. My VOD queue has gotten really big. By the way, um, what is it? Limple of the Lost. I watched the because I wanted to watch the Mystery of the Druids video because we talked about it. <laughs> And then I watched the like two hour long Limbo of the Lost video from the same person, Mandalore Gaming. And now I also really want to play Limbo of the Lost. It looks equally fun and horrid and it's got like moon people logic and I would love to, to give it a shot. It's going on my list of PC games I really want to play when I get a PC that lets me play games. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you, hit. <laughs> hit back. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good look at Goofy running like an idiot. Yep. Stop! No hitting- no! Oh my god, I'm already- This game make me hurty. <laughs> I just have to look at Goofy running like an idiot. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I read that twice. My bad. I don't know how to dodge. I feel like at least in the first game in the tutorial area, it was like, here's an ability to roll out of the way that like costed something, I guess. But I don't feel like I've been presented with that option yet in this game. Or if I have, I just don't know how to use it. 
The sharpened edges of the keys are powerful. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from the horseman because the horseman keeps bodying me and I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> I don't know how to stop the horse. It opens the door to your blood and guts. I guess. If we have to say it that way. Okay, there we go, but also there we don't go. Damn, calm down. You literally don't know this person, Sora. You literally do not know this person. You, you just met. And you just met on accident. Ah, stop! <laughs> I'm sorry. That feels very, that feels like exceptionally obnoxious. I don't mean to do it all the time, but I'm doing it all the time today. <laughs> What is that overlay? Oh, that's why you're unlocked. Okay. Okay, that explains a lot. How do you know this, Sora? How do you know? I guess they could have watched the movie beforehand. Am I am I not remembering correctly? Is there a, a Game Boy game of Kingdom Hearts? That feels like something I remember. That feels like like something in my memory. But I'm not sure. I can't say with 100% confidence. There is one. Okay. I feel like maybe I or my brother or something had a a, a Kingdom Hearts labeled game for the 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 Game Boy Advance. The game. Okay. Uh, deck building RPG thing. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the shards are. I don't know what this dark ritual is. I'm gonna have a bite of the very filled Oreo cookie and it'll make noise and I'm sorry. Also, I don't know what the filling in an Oreo is. I just know that it's really good. I enjoy it very much. I mean, if you want to put it that way, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> it 
If you're not careful. I'm gonna show you a mystery of the druids, Nura. I'm gonna show you what a druidic mystery looks like. In the real world. I wanna drink this one. That's not fair. You have something unique to say about every unpleasurable thing. And I think that's one of your greatest strengths. But this is supposed to be an insult. Front so I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna put out a new Oreo flavor. It's just gonna be called Nerd Shiny. And I'm not gonna explain what is in it. But you will no longer be present on Twitch.tv. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Okay, that one. <laughs> We're all obsessed with the mystery of the druids. We all must know what's going on. They have some kind of attitude, and and we have to know. You're valid for saying that. I would I would never look someone in the eye and be like, "What are you saying? Oreo cookies are delicious," because that's not why you eat Oreo cookies. It's not because they're delicious, delectable, unique, one of a kind treats. They are not. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me and stop, like, charging at me from, like, 100 feet away. That feels a little unfair for me, a child with, with stubby little legs. I enjoy them, but I am... I would never, um... Uh, call them high cuisine. I, I especially enjoy Oreo cookies and ice cream. Now, that is an, uh, an opinion I do not know if I agree with. I actually think that the any of the blonde Oreo cookies are, like, the worst. <laughs> Uh, magic feels like it does nothing. Is it supposed to do that? We have good cookies. Admittedly, Biscoff cookies are really good, and they're European. And so I will give them that. I like them quite a bit. I like to make my own cookies, though. I like to make sugar cookies. Mulan, do something. I'm begging you to do something. You can't keep letting them bully me, Mulan. You're supposed to be better than that. Oh my gosh. I have no items. I'm about to die for Mulan. I hope that they're happy with this. Goofy fucking dies. Goofy is fucking dead right now. When Goofy's not on screen, just assume Goofy is fucking dead. I, I like to cook quite a bit. I need to take better pictures because I'm really bad at taking pictures. I have like bad picture disease. If I hold a camera up, I just never do it right. That's why I committed academic fraud in college. But every year at Christmas, um, instead of giving gifts to every single family member, because on, on on Mama Shark's side of the family, there's a lot of cousins and aunts. Uh, because my grand and my grandma's like one of ten sharks. <laughs> um, so we bake uh, Christmas cookies. We bake a big box for everybody. We usually do four or five different types, and then we do a couple hand decorated sugar cookies. So that way, everyone gets to have a um, a nice treat when they get home after the holidays. It's the only part of Christmas I enjoy, is making the cookies. <laughs> also, hello, Mathis. I, I, I hate to be this person, and I hate that Kingdom Hearts is the game that makes me say it, but I actually do not enjoy Christmas. I don't enjoy most holidays, actually. I don't even particularly enjoy Halloween. I don't hate it. But I'm just not that amped about it. <laughs> I get excited about it because other people get excited and they have cool things planned. But personally, I just I don't do anything. I'm not a hollow. I'm I just I'm bad at doing holiday stuff. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, I like cooking and I feel like I'm not bad at it. But at the same time, I did eat curry with cheese for dinner um, because I think curry with cheese is underrated. And it sounds really gross, but um, like Japanese style curry sauce with like nutritional yeast or like as a special treat with a little bit of cheese is delicious. It's like to die for. I, I, it's not cursed. It's better than peanut butter ramen noodles. They're also really speeding through the movie Mulan, which makes me worried. Please. Bye. I have no money. I don't usually judge food I haven't eaten. Valid. Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. Can I... Uh, party? No. Okay. Abilities, Sora. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Status, Sora. What is this? Item, Sora. Uh, yes. Okay. Customize. <laughs> Goofy Bash. <laughs> oh, hello. Nostalgia. Cries and money. I don't. <laughs> Cries and mummy. Hello. I feel nothing. <laughs> Period. End of story. I feel nothing. Hello, by the way. Thank you for following, Dad. Hello. I'm gonna save now. Yes, please. Oh, it's goofy. I gotta save until I don't get goofy. Abilities, you're gonna wanna equip some. Okay. Damn it, no, no goofy. Fuck, okay. Uh, abilities. Damage control, experience boost, equip, aerial recovery scan, sliding dash, guard, equip. I meant to sub last night, but I forgot. It's okay. It's all good. There's never any rush. Oh, hold on. I'm going to save one more time. Now that I've changed everything. It's all good. We all happy. We having a good time. We vibing a little bit. We vibing. Gosh, I hope we're vibing. I'm a little nervous because sometimes I get worried that I can't actually stream by myself. <laughs> I don't know if anybody gets that feeling. We're like, oh no, I, I'm not actually good at doing what I'm doing. I need help. And I'm trying to remind myself that that's not true. I do not, I can, I can do it by myself. Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, can I uh, throw them in here? Yes, I can throw them in fire, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just get worried. I have so much fun with other people. I feel like other people bring so much good energy and so much fun. I get worried. Oh my god. I am a sidekick. <laughs> and I just get worried about it. And then I get all stressed out because I'm like, oh no. Hmm, I'm not interesting alone. And then when I, I need someone to chat with me. 
Yeah, it's it, it's part of it's like, oh no, I'm boring all by myself, and the other part of it is like, yeah, but then I'm like working. Ah, I I'm either like abusing the relationship I have with someone else. This actually looks funny. <laughs> or I'm like working doubly hard to entertain someone who's here with me. They're all so silly. They're just funny little fellows. No. Oh my god, what's happening? Why is it so blurry? Uh okay. Okay. <laughs> I actually kind of disagree. I feel like um, you, Nura, um, do carry a stream very well on your own. The vibe is very serene. It's very peaceful. These are like little beaky fish. They're beaked fellas. They're beaky buddies. How do I target the big one? I'm sorry, by the way, if anyone uh, likes... Kingdom Hearts. I should have said that I, in the first time place, but I care not for this this game of the hearted kingdoms. It brings me great agony, in fact. I haven't read about those in the history books. I have no items, be good to me, be patient and kind. Oh, I have I failed? Have I failed? No problem. I have no problem. I just as I have no problem blasting a video game out of nowhere for no reason, I also have no problem complimenting someone out of nowhere for no reason. It goes it there's the duality of a fish. Also, y'all got thunder, and you're seriously gonna let him charge down a mountain at me? Like, Goofy Donald, you could have cast thunder and smote that guy from 800 feet away, and you're just gonna let him try and kill me with a sword? Like, mano a mano? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, I kind of like the effect on the clouds. I like it. I like it. This is a mistake. Fuck that mountain in particular. Fuck you, you stupid fucking rock. All I can ever think of is that picture of the lady making a smoothie, and it just says, Fuck you, you stupid fucking fruit. See you in hell. That's all I can think of. It's constantly, constantly in my mind. Fuck you, you stupid fucking fruit. See you in hell. Maybe it's saying something about me. <laughs> I'm gonna see those other fruit in hell. It's usually a meme associated with the end of Pride Month. <gasps> no. I I have this dilemma in which the Bruce you've made and the coconut Bruce that is sitting with me right now are so adorable and I really want to make them both my Discord picture at the same time. I love them so much. You make me so chubby and that's my favorite feature tell me the name of god you fucking piece of shit <laughs> i bet a mushroom would know the name of god i bet if you held a, a a gun up to a mushroom and were like whisper to me the name of the lord um you would get an answer and you would not like the answer but you would get an answer I hate fungus. I hate fungus. I hate mold. I'm totally disgusted. Um, there is a, com a totally, completely lovely um, 
Oh, his debut is ready. Oh, that's so good. Thank God. Thank good for you. Uh, uh, what's your name? I'm so glad that your debut is, is all set to go. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway. Um, there's a perfectly wonderful uh, person who's a a fungus tuber and I cannot follow them anymore because they've really leaned into the fungus and mold gimmick and they post pictures of fungus and mold on the daily and um, it, it makes me absolutely sick to my stomach. It makes me completely like like cusp of vomiting. <laughs> I hate it so much. I was because I follow a bunch of of, of drama blogs drama twitters um there was this picture of a particularly moldy um piece of kitchen equipment going around i guess it belonged to someone who's who's a gossip and people were saying like you get rid of this pot and i would see it and i would just like who like Ugh. like about to throw <laughs> so i haven't been on my primary twitter for a little bit <laughs> Because I'm I'm scared that that picture is still um, floating around. Um, let's let's see. Let's put Goofy in hell for a little bit. Let's put Goofy in hell for a sec. Oh, I got a new bunch of stuff. Oh, I can't do anything with it, but I got a bunch of stuff. Okay, okay. I hate mold. Although that being said, um, one of the best um, uh, uh, post ever made in the history of Tumblr.com is the post um, about hating mushrooms and the mushroom lever saying that you cannot kill me in any way that matters. To be fair, that is one of the most powerful lines ever uh, written in history. And it is written as someone defending their love of delicious, fungi treats on Tumblr.com. Why does he have so many cute minions? How can he be evil if all of his minions are cute? How can he be Eevee? Look at his little fellas! They're little buzzy bees! This model of Mulan, by the way, actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna give this game two cents worth of credit. <laughs> It's not bad. Yeah, I know. They're, they'll murder and kill me. But I mean, the whole time I'm going to just be like, Oh, it's puppy kisses. They're puppy kissing me. They're giving me kisses. <laughs> Save. Yes. Donald Duck. You fill me with anger. I can't wait to... No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say something too. But I was gonna say I can't wait to go to the Disney theme park. Uh, but I will not say that because they will. If I say anything bad about Donald Duck, and doing anything horrid to Donald Duck, like kicking him in the shin, uh, they will just like obliterate me. They'll they'll hit me with an orbital strike. I'll perish instantly. I'm not fucking scared of you. I am scared though. That's the secret. That's my secret. I've been scared the whole time. Shut up. Goddamn. Get a hobby. I I can't afford to go to Disney World anytime soon, but if I do, we'll have a we'll have a shark day out. We'll have a sharkation. We'll have real fish hours. <laughs> Real fish people hours. Actually, this is really stupid, but I've been thinking if 
if I ever had to do a Friday Night Funkin' mod or if I had to do a Friday Night Funkin' parody, I would do a, um, a Friday Night Fishin and it would just be Friday Night Funkin' but all the models are replaced with VTubers who are shark tubers. And that's all. I Sometimes I listen to the music from Friday Night Funkin' and that's all I can think about, Friday Night Fishin'. Would pay good money for that. You don't have to. Friday Night Funkin is free. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. I would never charge money for it. I would feel bad. Also, I'm really bad with programming. Um, I did go through a per period where I thought I might be into coding. And I took a couple classes on, like, HTML and stuff. And I, I actually don't mind it. But it's just, it's just not the right line of work for me. <laughs> I have twied. And unfortunately, it was just not a very successful attempt. <laughs> but I like it. I used to take notes on my, like regular notes for classes in like a uh, like a web coding format because <laughs> um, it it just it honestly did make things a little easier for me sometimes because I like the way I like the way things tend to be sorted when it comes to that kind of thing like when it comes to looking at coding in any language, I tend to like the way things are, are formatted and sorted out. It makes me, my brain happy. <laughs> but I just, there's so much troubleshooting and there's so much trial and error. And it's just too much for me. It's a little too much. It, it bears a little too close to some math things for me. And so it's just not my, my field. <gasps> Look at the texture on his eyes. He looks like a poorly repainted doll. Oh, they pop back in. They're fine. They're fine. <laughs> Checking down those curly boys. Which curly boys? You shuffle away. Oh, how are we gonna beat him? He's got a bird. These, oh, the, the thingies. The curly cues, the, the, the closies. While guarding the gates. Okay, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. QTE. How are the gates already hurting? Ah! Oh, I've been- I'm being abducted. This is no fair, I'm a child. You can't do this to me. It's kidnapping. Unlike the movie, Mulan had help from several other people. Yeah. In the movie, it's about, uh, uh, like, uh, helping people, right? Like, it's about, like, oh, comrades is comrades. I, to some degree, feel like I literally have no idea what I can and cannot get, like, go through. I have, like, absolutely no clue what will let me uh, power through and what is just, like, a punish. <laughs> Am I applying too much, like, real video game logic? Like I, like, I can hit him and he can hit me, but I don't know what is, like, like, when I'm allowed to hit him for, like, a stun or to do this. I do some program in my day job. Oh. Do you like it? Programming, I know, is... I say programming is very popular, like, it's like a fad, but I mean, programming is a big element of... of work nowadays. 
Oh, we missed. We missed completely. Or did we? I have no HP. Help me. And apparently my volume cut out for a second. What's wrong, Kingdom Hearts? Thank you, Donald. For once, you do me a favor. For once, you help me, Donald, instead of hurt me. Never mind, I'm hurting again. Donald. Donald Duck, what are you doing? I'm gonna punish this bird. I'm gonna punish this bird for the sins of the other bird. Oh, Donald Duck is dead, that's why. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that's why. I enjoy creating my own programs and supporting them. I won't give up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is what the fuck. I. What is it? What is a D charge? Oh my god, I... Oh, look forward, I'm gonna put you in prison. Donald Mel... No! No! Boneworm is gonna go to jail. Boneworm is gonna go to... To gay baby jail. I can't say that. Why is... Why is Mickey Mouse Yoda? Okay, so I'm charged up. And now I'm gonna revive Sora. What how did why did that happen? Oh I'm at full health. Okay. I didn't say anything about <laughs> Valen. A year Valen failed. In fairness, the folks I'm usually coming in behind are super overworked. Valid. Also valid. Oh yes, I remember the scene from the movie. I feel bad for coding people. Because I feel like the assumption is it's just typing on the computer. So it must be easy and people must be able to do it really all the time. But it's incredibly mentally taxing. Like it takes a lot of your brain power to do that kind of thing. And I feel like... I feel like people take advantage of the fact that it's just sit down work when it's like really some of the like the hardest thinky brain stuff you can do in modern age it's like doing math like 12 hours a day sometimes after you meet making the story he will show up and save you if you start dying okay okay <laughs> I don't be sassy right now. My tiny forte into learning code was hard but fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. The okay, I was about to say the Mulan model actually doesn't look bad. When they have the inset eyes and everything, Mulan doesn't look bad at all. But when they have the painted face on <laughs> It's not as good. And look at him. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. It looks like I put those eyes on him. He looks like he's like combination blaze it and low poly. Like he smoked too much and now he's gone down a frame rate. He's gone down to 140p. And he's trying really hard to keep it together. God, man, hold it, hold it, hold it in. It's okay. So does Goofy not have whiskers because he shaves? 
or what? Or does he just have freckles? What's going on? Tell me the lore. At least it's not a credit card. Gosh, why is it always Kingdom Hearts that makes the audio so crispy? What happened? What do you do? What do you do to my, my, my gaming system? What do you do to my capture card that you make it this way? The thing is not sharp anywhere. You're right. You're right. You right. Oh. I guess I'm still thinking about Oreo cookie. <laughs> but my mom likes to watch this dude. Um, it's like a British dude. And he has a little folding table and chair. And during COVID, he would go to carry out places and sit outside at a safe distance and sample carry out food and then review it. And my mom like adores him. Oreo cookie. And she asked me today if he traveled across the United States, what one-of-a-kind thing would you insist that he tries? And it's maybe really sad, or maybe it's just what I remember being a kid. All I could recommend was, like, authentic, real American food that's actually edible was, like, Detroit-style pizza and Coney. Because, like, everything else is, like, not truly American. Like, maybe, like, you could go down south and eat barbecue. But, like, there's other barbecue that's better. Anything for Oreo cookie. No. No. Excuse me? <laughs> I like, uh... I like, I like Korean barbecue. Because there's different types of barbecue. And I, I... Yeah, like, I'm talking about different kinds. That's acceptable. I guess when I think of, like, American barbecue, most of the time I think of... Ship? What? No, I just want to... Yes? Yes? It's designed around weapon gummies. I've heard North Carolina B North Carolina BBQ is very good. My my old advisor used to tell me all the time that my life is pointing me to North Carolina and I have no idea what that meant. Um, she would just be like, the stars aligned to take you there and I've never been there before. And I have not been there since we've had that discussion. She used to tell me all the time, I think the stars are pointing you there. And I'd be like, what do you mean? I like the barbecue sauce that comes from there. And I have a fatal bet. We're going to have our faded battle there. That's where I'm going to meet the other tubers. We're going to fight for our lives. Um, it's also true that Deep Blue occasionally appears off the coast of the Carolinas. I would really like to see Deep Blue. I, this is not a joke. I think that if I saw Deep Blue in real life, like I caught a glimpse of Deep Blue in my lifetime, like in person, I would literally like break down in tears. Shit. <laughs> You're gonna play this now in my time of, of desperation and my time of, of chaos and disorder and my time of, of, of punishment.
in my bad Damafuku, period. Is Coconut Mall gonna play twice? Please don't play twice. Please be fixed. Please be fixed. Please be fixed. Yes. Well, thank you for the hydrate, baby. Hold on, I gotta turn on my little Giphy. And then I'm gonna drink you some Wadi. Hydrate or dehydrate. I'll try. So is there like, do I need to be worried about any part of this or do I just need to make, have a shippy that uh, lets me not die? Like, is there anything I need to actually be worried about in this game or... Or will it just be like, no, you can survive? Because I feel like young people are supposed to play this game. And that doesn't mean it can't be hard. But you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is a game with a younger audience in mind. So they wouldn't want to make it so impossible that you couldn't uh, just play it and beat it. But at the same time, part of me is like, what if it is impossible and I'm not meant to beat it? What if the game has like a huge curve and it's just like, get good or die. And I die. Hold on, let me activate my gift. There we go. Optimal. Thank you for the hydrate, Dak. By the way, how do you want me to say your name? Because it's... I don't want to say it incorrectly. Like, you gotta do it once, but that's it. Okay. If you don't take the skin off my Furby, I want you to make him God. Actually, I watched a video about how to skin a Furby. I have seen that before. I watched Furby customization tutorials. It's da koki, da koki, da koki, da koki. Okay, da koki, da koki, da koki. Actually, admin of first. <laughs> I have absolutely no knowledge of anything furry. Oh, Furby. Okay, I was about to say that's fair. Furries need a lot of moderation, and sometimes you just gotta go in and clean up. <laughs> We don't judge. It's okay. You can be as Furby or furry as you like. It's okay. The cookie. The cookie. It's okay. The cookie. It's okay. Stuff's getting furry. I'm just scaly trash. Valid. 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 You're fair. You're valid. Critter. You can be whatever you want to be. You can be a Furby kin if you want. That's fine. As long as you're not Dungan Roper kin. <laughs> part of me is is interested in Furby customization, and the other part of me is like frightened. Like the other part of me is like no. No, thank you. The cookie. Valid. I think thrashers are like supremely radical, by the way. I think a thrasher is an underrated shark. It is the only shark that successfully built to the whip weapon. And they have big eyes. They have like adorable, funny, big eyes. They look like they're constantly under stress. 
Locke, you should be looking into Thresher Sharks because they have the true Dark Souls quality whoop, whip build, whoop build <laughs> that you're going to need for uh, future bosses, that you're going to need for the Covetous Demon. Whip. When you got anxiety but you a shark, you become Thresher. Sorry, I had to fidget again. <laughs> I had to be antsy. Ah. I've, I've ordered a real stand, and it will be here on Monday. <laughs> but until then, I have to use my still scuffy setup. So I my, my back hurty, my chair noisy. Now that I know what the Final Fantasy uh, 14 moguls look like, by the way, I hate these. These disgust me. These creatures. I still have no money. Also, same, I have no money. Yes. Literally, the I'm I'm waiting for tax return money, and I, my taxes have still not been returned to me, like at all. <laughs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> it's filled with loathing. It's true. Every little I'm I'm I have like a a very small cartilaginous skeleton, and the rest of my body is padded with anguish. Me sitting here trying to sell photography prints? That's how I feel selling my paintings on Etsy. <laughs> mm, stop. Link, I can send some to you. I can send some to you. Oh, that reminds me, by the way, my commission sheet has been updated. Uh, prices have increased a little bit, unfortunately. Um, but I feel like this button mashing is so loud. Uh, um, it will come out uh, at the top of next week with the schedule. Uh, and I'll, my, I've, condensed it, I've condensed it into one sheet with all the information you need. So my goal is to have commissions open, and when they're open, uh, I'll post it every week with my schedule, and when they're closed, I will just add a note that they're not available. And that way it'll keep it a lot easier. Because I, I do have people who DM me, and then I have to find another post, and it's getting obnoxious. And I've also updated some info. Make things a bit easier. Ah. Oh, I can hit you. What do you give me? Nothing. You just hurt. <laughs> this is just cruelty. I love doing the little sharkies. I always have. Why do you get so crispy? Why do you get so crispy? It's property damage. I know. I'm st I'm stepping in on on Lone Wolf Locks business werewolf uh, uh, interior decoration. Fuck the police! 
I know I was just on a stream arresting criminals, and now here I am, a real-life criminal, committing real-life fraud. Is this XP or am I picking up money? I can't tell. Oh, I'm obtaining money. Okay. Werewolf renovations. Yeah, it's okay. You have a copyright. Okay, so I get to, I get to uh, participate in in the renovations. I can't wait for you to have a Minecraft server about werewolf renovations, and the whole server's theme is everyone builds something beautiful, and then on like Judgment Day, you come through with just like a a, a flint and steel and cast judgment on the whole server. Like everyone builds castles or whatever and you come in with a single flint and steel and you're like, hmm, invalid. <laughs> like a big old competition and we all pre present houses to you and then you decide if we live or die. And if we fail you, you close the door and you light a fire and we just perish. Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. Probably need TNT to be fair. That'd probably be better. But then you'd have mod, you could make yourself admin and you could give yourself a, infinite privileges and then just use it to spawn like TNT. Just be like, this This home displeases me. And then you spawn 100 TNT blocks and you kill us all in a second. Or you could be like, this home pleases me immensely. And then you spawn a hundred feral wolves in the home. <laughs> as a reward. As a gift. From the gods. You drop a hundred wolf spawn eggs and they all come to life. Covering your home with dog hair. Just don't punch because they all attack. Pee on the deed and claim it as your own. <laughs> Oh, I don't like how easy it is to pick Donald Duck up. Do you think that he has fur or do you think that he has hair? And build a home of charcoal blocks with the D&D Foundation. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Sora. Ducks are pretty light. That's true, but I still don't like it. He's human-sized. Locked up his servants? That's mean. That's very bourgeoisie of you. As a kid, I just went over, I went up on my lap and bet it was so light. God, I wish I had the guts to do that when I was a child. I was a frightened little child. I couldn't do it. Donald with the Napoleon complex. Is that not Donald's character? Napoleon complex? Thank you. I think I need that. Please give me money. Been bitten by a duck. <laughs> Do ducks not have teeth? I I is it ducks or geese that have like a sort of uh, dental lining? Am I remembering correctly? Oi. Fuck. He's chubby. No, chumbly. Geese have teeth. Yes, geese have Satan teeth. As previously discussed, um, geese are, are level one hippopotami. Real talk, if I could seriously reclassify any animal on earth, I would uh, um, go through and just put geese in the same family as hippopotamus. 
just to like fuck with somebody. Just put them under the same like family name, like Familia. Familia Hippopotami. Yes, that's horrifying. That implies that hippos could someday be as intelligent as a dolphin. I don't like it. I think that if hippos could do something with their intelligence, much like dolphins, she's fine. <laughs> Dolphins aren't human garbage. Dolphins are bad people. I can say that knowing coconut mud. Fuck. Why did it play twice? Why does Lot get two? Why does Puppy get two treats? Why does Puppy get two treats? This isn't good for you. It's too much sugar. It's too much sugar for Puppy. Too much sugar for Puppy. Too much sugar for puppy! Too much sugar! <laughs> Items, potion, Sora, please. Stop! Because puppy is very good. Yes, it's true. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Donald is fucking dead. G lock why does Bruce <laughs> I don't let them have two I do not willingly give them two puppy has been very good though recently stop calling me nice things <laughs> no stop making noise God damn. You get nice things because you're a nice person. I'm sorry that that's the truth, but it's the truth. Nice people get nice things. Is a good artist and good gamer, good coconut. Yes, you're right. Top tier gamer, top tier artist. Coconut. I don't mind, actually. I said I don't mind, so can you? Fine. Hoing. 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 Hello. Hoi. Stop. I said I don't mind. I said I don't mind, so move. Oh, do I have to wait? Do I have to like push and then wait? Be sure to be quiet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, NVM, I thought it was a sound redeem. Oh, no, it's just me saying hoi. It's just me doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's only me. <laughs> it's a mouth sound redeem. You're right. You're right. And Katamari, hoi, in my head. No, but I wish. God, I love Katamari so much. Okay, puzzle solved, I guess. <laughs> I accept the mouth sounds. Hello, Ellie. Hello. May I help you? No. You... Yes, I know. I've seen Beauty... No, have I seen Beauty and the Beast? I've seen the iconic shot of Beauty and the Beast. And I know of the contents of Beauty and the Beast. But I have not seen it. You can never escape your past. 
I was never in this past. I have nothing to escape. This hell is free for me. First time experienced. This is just Stockholm Syndrome the movie. It's, I guess it's true. It's my past. This is your ghost of Christmas past. Kingdom Hearts 2. Number 10, Burger King Foot Lettuce. You wouldn't want someone's foot fungus in your Burger King burger, but that might just be what you're getting. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes you just slip in a Burger King foot lettuce. Imagine being changed into a wardrobe. Your body is storage. Yeah, imagine you get changed back and like you have to get a sock removed from your rib cage. Locke, have you never seen Burger King foot lettuce? Number nine, Burger King foot lettuce. You wouldn't want someone's foot fungus in your Burger King burger, but that just might be what you get. This employee. <laughs> Why not? Okay, this design is pretty cool. I like this. I like this quite a bit, actually. That's pretty dang neat. I don't like that it's hitting me, but it's pretty gosh darn cool. I'm butt mashing, pardon me. Pardon the mash. Apparently not. Yeah, you haven't seen Burger King Foot Lettuce. Uh, to be fair, we also had not all seen um, top 10 hottest Sonic the Hedgehog girls. So I mean, like, sins, you know, we all have our own little sins. We all have our own little crimes. Oh no, not a notification. <laughs> you wouldn't want someone's foot fungus in your Burger King burger, but that just might be what you're getting. I think this double door guardian is really cool. I like that quite a bit, actually. Somebody come quick. No. Ooh, two. I don't know what this does. The cadence of this person's voice. <laughs> God, I love it so much. It's pretty close up there with uh, Gumai Root Rat Kandai. Gumai Rat Kandai. My G Lai Bui Mai Gumai Root Kandai. Burger King Foot Lettuce. It's kind of bitchy, like it's very monotone, but it's also kind of like, okay. Are you saying words? I am. G Lai B Lai Gumai Rukendai. Today we dissect my G Lai B Lai Gumai Rukendai. Bruce, do you. No, in <laughs> How about etiquette with Eric? No, I don't think I do actually. Oh, have I perished? Have I destroyed the door? Okay, cool. Oh, I've I've released the spirit of the door into the wild. Okay, I've excised its unholy host. Now don't go back in there. I've exercised you. Ah! Is the only reason why I can go over here so you can throw me? Is Goofy Daddle Battle sounds? I know I love when I love when Goofy screams in anguish and I do nothing about it. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. 
I really want Goofy to do the ya ho ho hoi noise. Lon like your poyo. Poyo. Poyo poyo pop. Actually, many, many years ago, I dated someone who was a huge Poyo Poyo Pop stand, and I did not get it. I did not understand. Poyo Poyo Pop is just Tetris, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I wish I had Poyo. Pain Poyo. Pain Puyo. Get bonus. Get boosted. It's not Tetris. It's Tetris! <laughs> Puyo so hard. When you Puyo too hard and you break up. <laughs> now Boneworm is getting two. Where is the second one coming from? Sound alerts. So, so many things that make you want to squish your cheeks and say no. Puyo is Tetris. Puyo is, te is competitive Tetris. Can you Puyo my pop? <laughs> I actually don't drink pop. Um, I only drink like the bougie, uh, rich, fancy people pop. Because it's got like no sugar in it. Not LaCroix. I like the, the, the fake art hipsy, hippie. Tetris is competitive Tetris. Competitive Tetris is competitive Tetris. What the fuck do you mean? Tetris is you play fucking Tetris alone. It's called pop. It's called pop and you're wrong. Welcome to my chat. Welcome to my stream. You're wrong. You're incorrect. Have you guys seen about La Crux? La Croix? La Croix? The cricks. It is my 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 only casual bougie indulgence. It's because it's like artisan made or whatever. It's because it's local, and it's bougie. I'll buy something if it's local, but oh, something smells like popcorn. The croix. The Croix is what an Instagram personality would taste like. Um, Nightbot probably will. Uh, if you want to DM it to me, or if you want to post it in a Discord server somewhere, that's fine. Nightbot is being really picky, but Nightbot is still upholding its, like, two rules. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. We've all seen Beauty and the Beast. Do you think that would be considered her blood? No, but I hate the implication that, um, like, all, like, the bones are, like, forced between the walls of the teapot and that you are, like, pouring hot liquid into someone's, like, chest cavity. Like, have you ever seen, um... <laughs> The answer is probably going to be no. But have you ever seen a, a, a um, not air quotes because it's true, have you ever seen a deep um, dissection uh, where the chest cavity has been cleaned and all it is is like the like the back of the ribs and the thick membranous wall and like all like the, the guts and the organs and the viscera have been like scooped out. I imagine that's what it would be like on the inside. Oh yes, oh good, so you know what I'm talking about. It is kind of weirdly neat to see that, like, you can be that empty. That fascia be thick, though. It's very weirdly, uh, morbidly fascinating. Save. Damn, girl. Your fascia, thick as fuck. Oh, I, I'm very interested in taxidermy. There was a brief period of time where I almost uh, picked up taxidermy. <laughs> Poop. 
Please talk to Codsworth. Okay. Hello, child. I feel like that's foreshadowing to something. Help me. Yeah, I love that. Good night, Bruce. Good night, Evs. It's all good. I appreciate you, Ez, and I appreciate you uh, in in Car Stream as well. You're you're very in, you're you're lovely to have around, and you're a criminal, and we appreciate you. Knock chip off the table. <laughs> I think I think I'm more inherently a, a dog than I am a, a a cat. I think I'm more of a puppy deep down. You can be a criminal and likable. We do love it. Why are you making him do that? He's like two pounds. Meatland. Uh, I'm Meatland. <laughs> I was gonna say deer meat, but apparently I read the word lantern and thought meat lantern instantly. Venison, deer meat, is delicious. I like it a lot. I like it as a jerky or as a hunter's sausage. I think it's quite delicious. I like game. My, the meat lantern. <laughs> I like sleep time. Thank you, Nura. I appreciate that. I hope you have a good sleep. I hope you get comfy in your coffin. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if that's rude to assume vampires drink in a coffin. Drink in a coffin. I imagine you wouldn't drink in your bed, so why would you? Well, uh, okay. I would drink in my bed, but that's because I have clinical depression. But I mean, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't want to be rude and assume all vampires drink and live in coffins. With dear jerky dealer, I used to know. <laughs> I personally am not a hunter. I'm just not, I, I don't like, oh, I could do something, someone will heal me. <laughs> I just don't like hunting, but, um, sprinkle? Yes, um, but I, I sure do enjoy the fruits of their labor in the form of uh, uh, venison. I think it's really good. Let me jumpies. Give me jumpies. Give me jumpies, please. Thank you. <laughs> no! My jumpies! I have no desire to touch a gun. It's... It's a thing, I guess. the population control. There's a lot of deer that over quickly if they're not taken care of. I guess that's true. I just don't like it. Just like I, as much as I feel like fishing should be like a vibe for me, like I should be able to just like, oh yeah, let's do like a fucking a funky little fish trip. But like I, I would feel really bad. <laughs> like I fully, I fully, fully recognize that like this is the, the thing uh, like people talk about when they say that you're like a vegetarian or whatever, like, oh, it's because you wouldn't kill, uh, um, or because you can't get over the idea of like, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, killing an animal before you eat it. And it's like, yeah, I can't get over that idea. That's why I don't do it. That's why I, I buy it <laughs> from the store. Sprinkle, 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 I'm pushing Y. Where's the teapot? Thank you. And then, uh, yeah, I think, it, I feel like me personally, I'm, I'm like okay with that. I've accepted it. So like it doesn't bother me. Like I'm not like offended when people are like, oh, you're just doing whatever. 
I just, I don't have this, I don't have the heart for it. I hope you understand what I mean, because like the, the common argument is, is if you're willing to eat meat, you should be willing to hunt. Valid. I think that's completely fair. And I think that it's also completely reasonable to make the argument as well that the higher qual you can guarantee essentially a quality or like a level of sustainability when you do it yourself. And that's that's completely reasonable. I think that's incredibly it's it's such a complicated argument. <laughs> I actually really wish I was more vegetarian. I try really, really hard not to eat beef. Um, like just because I, I think it's like the easiest thing for me to cut out. But at the same time, I also do really enjoy a beef stew on occasion. Like a nice like beef stew with like tomato, like a nice over like hyper savory base over like some like really thick rice, some mwah, delicious basmati rice, a little bit of salt, yeah, thick carrots, a good like waxy gold potato. And you cook it all day. I do not like eating onions, but cooking onions in it makes it a world of difference. I can't help it. <laughs> I would actually really like to try to make a like a, a stew or a stroganoff with a wild game. I think it'd be really good. I think it could be very delectable. I like stuff that's in, like uh, like crazy savory. I, I like sweet, but I prefer like really savory or salty, personally. Personally. <laughs> personally, I prefer the air and no. Fuck, stupid, stupid. Yeah. I've never actually had like a, 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 like a mincemeat pie with game. And I feel like I would enjoy that much more than um, like the, the, the hand pie that you eat in this side of the country, the pasty is like beef and potato. And I feel like it would be vastly improved by like a game, like something that like could handle being prepared that way and cooked for that long. The only argument I kind of personally agree with that uh, they're not eating the meat yourself, I mean, it's a total waste, yes. People who just hunt and like give the meat away or people who hunt and like uh, like don't do anything with it like um, like they might hunt for like a trophy and then they just choose not to eat the meat or anything like that or hunting an animal that serves no purpose that can't be um, like sold or like reused in any way is like super sus like part of me recognizes the um, the validity of, of certain types of game hunting as just being a population control and a way to uh, earn money for like cities and states that need it. But the other part of me is like, yeah, but think of the people who are doing that for fun. <laughs> Speaking of, do you think, no, the beast would be too lean. He's too big, he's too lean. He's, he's got a little bit of ox in him. He looks like he's got some boar-esque features. He would not be delicious. Even if your end game is to use your hunting license to get extra money by like hunting local game and reselling it to a restaurant or like um, like a shop that butchers them and resells it, that's fine. You're still getting rid of it. But like if you hunt for a trophy and all you do is collect like the skin and the antlers or you just collect the antlers. <laughs> I'm big sus. I'm big skeevy. I don't like it. Put a shirt on, goddamn. Can you not? I like his horns. Oh, 
Oh, so I'm zapping him. I'm zorping him. Too many hyperconivore meats. That's true. Mercury and stuff always travels up. So, like, I'm always hesitant it, to, like, try anything that's, like, predatory animals because they tend to... to the, the stuff that's bad tends to stay extra bad, like, in a, in a conivore and an apex predator. Am I supposed to be doing this? Am I just supposed to be spamming the wake-up spell whenever he shows his face to me? Yes, okay. Anyway, I'm kind of, I'm, I, part of me likes to stand by, I'm kind of a hippie, and the other part of me is like, hmm. I like hunter sauce. <laughs> That's good. Um, I've, I've low-key always wanted chickens, and the fact that I'm allergic to eggs has not stopped me from thinking I would love to have chickens. I think it would be wonderful. I always think of, uh, when I was in high school, I was in a lot of classes with a girl whose family owned chickens. And I would always ask, aren't you upset that eventually you're going to have to kill the chickens? And she would tell me, no, that fucker Pablo has to die. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> she talked constantly about a chicken named Pablo, um, whom she hated, um, whom hated her, who would always peck at her, who would always go for her ankles. And she was like, someday it will be Pablo's turn and I will dine on Pablo. I'll finally have my revenge. I'll have the last word. Like she cared very much for all those other chickens and she never spoke ill of any of the other ones, but it was always, always Pablo. If she had a problem, it would always be like someday his time is coming. I'm going to consume Pablo. Eat Pablo. Why would I fucking ever go to Chick-fil-A when I could stay at home and eat Pablo? <laughs> I have Chick-fil-A at home. Why eat homophobic, homophobic, <laughs> why eat homophobic Chick-fil-A uh, when you could go home and eat um, a non-homophobic but equally angry and unhinged Pablo? Homophobic, homophobic, homophallic. No, I don't like that. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going back on that one. I'm backpedaling on that one big core, big time. Big core. Speaking of big core. Can I do this? Yes, okay, I can. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Big core. <laughs> I love taking an aesthetic and turning it into something core, like for no reason. That's what my Discord username is all about. Big core, little core, Bruce core. I would love to be um, so successful someday that I have a whole aesthetic movement called Bruce core. Discord. <laughs> Bruce core, by the way, would be uh, like, not like uh, kawaii cutesy, but like, uh, like weird core cutesy and yeah, like simple drawings and like flesh-eating monsters. 
Like weird, it'd be a combination of weird core and like, like weird girl witch core. <laughs> Backwoods witch core and and uh, uh, doodle core. Just an A, I guess. This is my battle system. Blair witch shark. <laughs> I actually don't like Blair Woods very much. What did you do? What did you do, Sora? You didn't do anything. Oh, I'm commanding him around. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I guess I'm out of that fight, so I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> Why is my MP draining? <laughs> What's happening? I should actually probably have paid attention because I think I know where I'm going, but I don't think... Oh? Why my MP be draining though? Yeah. Donald. Oh no, okay. It's I it was recovering? Question mark? Let's go. Oh I'm clipping. I'm clipping, I'm clipping. That did do it. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> did I just get Super Smash Bros? What happened? K rule chess puppy to death. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me that I don't play Super Smash Brothers, but I do enjoy the King K rule song very much. I feel like that's a very common opinion that the King K rule music like slaps super hard. I'm not even like big Donkey Kong, but like I sure do enjoy that music. I sure do enjoy that bop a whole heck of a lot. Part of me thinks that if I had a fighting game theme song, I would want some combo of that and like the E1M1 Doom song. Like some really weird mashup. Don't play Smash either. Reaction vids and character reviews, exactly. I want to save that special attack, I guess. I think in general, if I had a, a, a fighting game or a game theme, I would want to incorporate E1N1 into it in some way, shape, or form. No, don't pause. I want to... No, don't zoom in. Don't first person me, bro. At King K. Rules Gate. Exactly. At the King's Gate. And then that'll be my, my theme. 
I would sure love to come up with uh, musical track names because I love musical tracks with weirdly esoteric, like, powerful names. I would love to do that for a living. I would love to, like, listen to music and be like, hmm, King's Gate. Hmm, I call this one Crusaders of Evil. Hmm, this one is Malice. Cause that sure is my favorite thing. I sure do love an instrumental track with an obtuse name. Donald Duck, why are you always dead? Why are you always dead old duck? God damn. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. I don't like Goofy either. Oh my gosh, actually we've only been almost been playing for three hours. I kinda can't believe it. That's her like her whole vibe. You are a piece of furniture. You are literally a piece of furniture and you're like, I'm gonna be sassy as fuck when like, I, it, it is not hard to break an Ikea wardrobe. We've all been there. I know I'm not too mad. I think cause I finally accepted my fate. I don't like it, but I'm <laughs> Also, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, I went the right place. I should really be paying attention, but I'm not. I'm thinking about beef stew. I'm also thinking about popcorn and Cheerios. Not together, but like I'm thinking about like, um... No, get out of my way. I, you, I get these Cheerios. I bought some. I bought a Costco box this time because they're really good. And they're like cinnamon Cheerios with granola and oats in them. And they're like perfectly crispy and a little bit sweet. They're very crunchy. Too shy to think about food. <laughs> it's true. And they're really good. I like to eat them with almond milk. Or just dry. I like to just grab a whole handful of them and chew on them because they're super crunchy. They're very heavy, crunchy, crispy. And I like the heavy, crunchy. They're really good. I actually don't like that because they have cinnamon Cheerios that are plain cinnamon Cheerios and they taste terrible. They taste burnt to me. They have uh, cinnamon and maple and those two flavors are just like heinous. They're like crimes, but I really like this particular flavor of <laughs> of cereal. Actually, um, I when I played in Phantom of the Opera, we had a real um, chandelier that would draw, uh, drop, and it was wonderful. I loved, I loved that bit. I, we had a company come in and assemble a breakaway chandelier. We had a nice opera singer come in and have the chandelier dropped on her whole head. Sometimes three or four times a day. <laughs> It was always fine. Uh, we never had any problems with it, at least. But I mean, I liked it very much. See Phantom of the Paradise? Yes! I have not seen that movie in a very long time. Not since I watched a, a movie reviewer talk about it, but I would like to see it again. I like that the the dude in that movie has a helmet that just looks like the the penance helmet from or the punishment helmet from uh, Berserk. It's really weird. I dig it. Come hither, smash this this dude. Hit him. Hit him really hard.
But if that's what the Berserk Helmet was based off of, I would still think that that was really cool. It, I don't know, because I don't know the time frame. I don't know when Phantom of the Paradise came out. And I don't know when that chapter of Berserk was released. Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. That is much cooler. <laughs> I guess I saw Berserk first. Oh my god, um... Shit, I'm gonna post this with my mouth, so that way I don't post it on my Twitter.com and get, like, dragged to hell. Uh... <laughs> I, there's a discourse going on. Oh, I don't like this. I thought the boss was over. Post with your mouth. I'm gonna post with my mouth so it's harder to pin this on me, so it's harder for people to get mad at me. But um, there is, people are mad because in, in uh, Princess, is it Princess Collective? In the Crunchyroll gacha game, um, they're adding a special, um, edition of uh, Jita in the Glorybringer costume and people are posting that this version of Jita is a copy of the Genshin Impact character the main Genshin Impact protagonist and it's like literally this version of this character came out in like 2012 and Genshin Impact is from like six months ago like please <laughs> stop doing this <laughs> like there's a lot of posts that are just like Damn, they really want your money because they're really trying to get on the Genshin Impact train. And I just want to be like, shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to commit a crime. <laughs> and that's my Genshin Impact post. That's my hot take, is that I hate it. I do not like Genshin Impact. I do not particularly enjoy interacting with particular genres of Genshin Impact. Uh, I fans, and that's fine. Not all Genshin Impact fans are like that. But you know what I mean. As a long-time gacha person, I am disrespected by Genshin's rules and and uh, uh, mentality towards its players. It's very disrespectful to me. As an eternal gacha idiot. <laughs> Copying. Yes, exactly. Genshin Impact is not copying Breath of the Wild. It may have borrowed some things, but nothing is wholly original. And and Grand Blue Fantasy has never copied Genshin Impact. If anything, I am like 99% confident that those companies would love to cooperate with each other in any way, shape, or form because it would make them tons and tons of cash money. Grand Bluff the Impact. Grand Blukin Impact. Grand Impact. No, that sounds bad. But both characters are just really sim- Exactly, like, I'm not even like, oh, Jita's the most original character on Earth, because Jita is not. Jita and Gran are just literally generic anime characters, but sometimes they have a unique costume or two. That's it. That's their, that's their whole thing. They're meant to be stand-in protagonists, and they do their job perfectly fine. <laughs> exactly. Many characters are very, very simple designs um, with a few very unique features, and if you were to take those features off, they would look like any other anime character. So it's not a big deal. Log from Pennsylvania. <laughs> This is my OC, Lonk. Um, he's not from Hyrule. Um, he's from Philly. He don't use a sword. He got a cheesesteak. Original character, do not steal. Based on my own real life cousin, Lonk. Ah, yes. It's the country of the hollow masculine organ. <laughs> Cheesesteak breath weapon. 
oh my god get a, a dragonborn character and make their breath weapon um cheese whiz hot cheese whiz they just like vomit it out on the floor <laughs> oh my gosh how goes all so far so good Hello. Okay, so <laughs> we're 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 uh we're oh god, what's a good name for a dragon born with queso breath? What clan are they from? Good to zone out too, huh? Good. Hello, hello. The Philly dragon is a blue dragonborn, by the way. He's a blue dragonborn with a terrible accent, a bad attitude, and like crazy cheese breath. Like bad cheese breath? Not like, oh, you were, excuse me, I'm so sorry, eating, um, oh, you were eating cheese and crackers. But I mean like the breath of a creature whose primary self-defense feature is vomiting hot cheese. If you can imagine. I love blue dragonborn. I think that a blue dragonborn looks so sick. They look so slick and smooth. Like a, a blue lizard or a blue reptile in general looks pretty nice. Because they tend to be nice, rich, organic blues, not like cheap plasticky blues. That's why Belladon is blue. <laughs> Philly dragonborn won't stop talking about the eagles. This dragonborn won't stop being evil. No, he can't. Oh my god, that reminds me. In my D&D &D session the other day, I didn't stream because I had D&D &D with some people, some friends. Um, my party revolted against me because my character is like pretentious and maybe a little bit racist to everybody who's not a natural born uh, elf. Like if you're not from the Feywilds, don't even talk to her. If my party fucking revolted because our our uh, a warrior picked me up and hucked me down the flames. <laughs> it's no fair. I had to roll against uh, his strength and we were having an argument. Essentially, it was like one person might die. We're doing a trial, a, a, a power dungeon, uh, like a challenge. Like there's a bunch of puzzles we're solving. And one puzzle had a solution that was basically someone is on their deathbed for 30 seconds and the rest of the party has to complete a puzzle and so to keep you from dying. And everyone else had been doing puzzle trials and I had just been aiding in my pretentious little like supercaster summoner warlock way. I'm a Feywilds warlock. I'm a Feywilds wood elf warlock. And I'm pretentious as hell, and I'm really tall, and I don't, I don't deal with people, I don't deal with lowly people. And, um, they got fed up with my shit, and our warrior was like, it's your turn. And I, like, kept moving away from the point, and he literally just picked me up and pitched me down like a whole ass flight of stairs. I don't know why I failed the, the grappling check, but did not take damage from rolling down a flight of stairs. But um, still worked out in my favor. I, st I stuck to my character and refused to take the self-sacrifice. I made someone else do it. Which feels like a bitchy move, but at the same time, that's who I was. <laughs> Old Eden Elf. I'm so glad, by the way, that Belladon isn't obnoxious. I like to play characters who aren't always brave because it adds group conflict and sometimes you can be brave and it feels extra good to be brave. <laughs> it, it is, I believe that the rest of the party does not know what Belladon's character alignment is because one of the things I want to do is play an alignment I've never played before. There is something there. <laughs> There is something there. there. 
Belladon is not a warlock with a good patron trying to do a good thing. There's no good contract here. There's a cursed object. <laughs> There's a cursed object in the vicinity. I I think that it could be a fun. There's no. It's a D and D character. More character will come out in time, but no. It, Belladon's alignment is not clear to the rest of the party. <laughs> I'm not a paladin. <laughs> I am looking forward to more cursed objects. I enjoy cursed objects. I would like to have something bound to me until I die. And I think it would be really funny if that was just like a maple leaf. Is it cursed? We don't know. It's just a leaf. Cursed leaf never le never gets off your fucking foot. Always stays crispy. Always makes you think it's a spider, but it's just a leaf. It's just a cursed fucking leaf. A cursed connoisseur. <laughs> oh, I'm a I'm a cursed caressiant. Delicious. I'll hydrate. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, let me get my little thing. No, I turned on a gun. I turned on the gun. I'm gonna hydrate though. I'm scared, but ask away. I'm sorry, Cody, you're gonna have to be blocked with my chat. Nightbot, if you could get on that, I would appreciate it. If this was this was gonna come back to haunt me, um, I'm just gonna encourage you to do yourself a, a disservice and Google what that is on your own. And just if you end up somewhere, you end up somewhere. This is a, a personal journey. This is a path one must walk alone. I had a character that started out as Cata Good and then a Bluffle Evil. <laughs> That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Oh, I don't like this texture. Boy, you sure did. <laughs> Not right now, Winnie the Pooh. My mom especially hated Winnie the Pooh, by the way. Hated Winnie the Pooh, I think, more than any other, like, property owned by Disney. Oh? Okay, that's not a bug. <laughs> I think it was because the Winnie the Pooh books did intentional spelling errors for children, and my brother and I can't fucking spell for shit, even though we're adults. We ain't know how to read or spell. So, <laughs> I think she hated them because she didn't want us to read storybooks with spelling errors and think that that was acceptable. He'd be here all the time. Oh no, the twist. The twist that the good side was like the curse. The good side was the evil enchantment. And the bad side was <laughs> his true self. Ah, ow. 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 <laughs> 
Can I permanently change my, um, my hotbar? Because I hate this hotbar. I hate this one. This one sucks. The Midgar one or whatever, it blows. This font is way too crunchy for me. Pardon me. Oh, so is is he cursed or dead? Is Winnie the Pooh cursed or dead? I think that my mother would be very happy to hear about that. Just eternal perish, Winnie the Pooh. Leave. Okay. I thought that was a save. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh no, he's got amnesia. He's got bernesia. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, he's got Baronesia. Go talk to your granddad. The right granddad. Not the granddad with the eyes painted on funny. Oh, great. <laughs> Is it really terrible that I'm about hour three and I really want to switch to another game? <laughs> Not because I'm having a bad time or anything, because I'm just enjoying chitter chattering, um, but just because I'm tired of mashing A. <laughs> I want to make sure people are having a good time. And if people are having a better time, with this in the background, and they're having a better time with this in the background. Well, that's fair, that's valid. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna do a big stretch. Do a big old stretch. <coughs> I would love to switch to my Switch, but I haven't fixed my Joy-Con drift yet. I almost, cause, cause Twitch sent money out the other day, right? And I almost used, no, it wasn't, it wasn't the other day. What time was it? It must have been this morning or something, but Twitch sent money out and I almost was like, great, I'm going to fucking pitch my Switch controller in the garbage. Um, but it's not, I have to fix my drift. I know I have to stop thinking, cause like they want, they want me to buy the $60 replacement. But if I just buy the stupid $5 screwdriver and put the cardboard in the stupid Joy-Con, <laughs> I'm gonna save myself a lot of money, but I'm just, I'm mad. I'm mad because I have to do repair on my switch. And it needs a special screwdriver I gotta pay for. Baseball charm. <gasps> oh no. I've seen the pick -a me video. I've seen pick -a me play Winnie the Pooh baseball.
No way I don't want to land there. I want to save. Wait, no, how do I switch? Okay, I guess I don't. <laughs> Oh, okay, I have Poshies, but I just haven't been using them. I don't have them equipped. Maybe? Coconut Mall? Would you like a Coconut Mall? You are entitled to a Coconut Mall. You may. That was very polite of you. <laughs> I'm having a, a good time, so Coconut Mall is not intimidating to me right now. It's still loud. It's still quite loud, and I'm very worried that it's going to happen twice, so I'm going to do something. Yep, too late. This is my own fault. Um, this is what I get. This is my internal punishment, and and it's it's no one's fault but my own. It's no one's fault by my own. I can't figure out how to fix it, so it's no one's fault but my own. <laughs> this is my punishment. This is what I've earned. I'm actually going to switch to a different screen for two seconds. Two seconds. I think I am going to switch games. Um, <laughs> I'm still feeling the vibe. Um, I just don't want to play King of Hearts anymore. <laughs> um, so I will offer everybody an option. I'll give you... I want to take Bloodborne off the table because we're getting to a point in Bloodborne where we're just knocking bosses off a list. And I I would rather save like big boss clearing for like an actual stream where we do it. But I have a, a new game that I bought um, that I guess no fan <laughs> at this point is Subnautica Below Zero. Or some 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 fin fan fourteen. Those are two options. If you would like to see the new subby subby naughty game, <laughs> that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Let me take that back. If you would like to see the new game, give me give me give me an F. If you want to see the no, if you want to see the new game, give me an L. I'll take that L. Want to see the the, the fin fan? Uh, uh, give me a subby naughty. No, no, if you want to see Finn Fan, give me an F. No, subby naughty. No, subby naughty. No, subby. I, I'll play subby naughty, but I'm saying this is not a subby naughty stream. There is no sub in this, and there's no none of these subs are ill behaved. They're all very good. I like them. They're fine. They're acceptable. Fuck. We'll play Subby Naughty. <laughs> I'm having a big zippy. I totally don't blame people, by the way. I Here, let me move this. Um, full disclosure... Um, I have started this game up uh, before, and that is because um, there are a couple known issues with the console versions right now. Um, the beginning is very laggy, and the <sighs> there is some some stuttering issues. There's some drop frame rates. Um, I I loaded in to see if it would be like stream ending. Um, the first couple minutes, the first cutscene, and the first time you're on land are rough. 
their capital R rough. Big old woof woof. But getting past that, it's fine. Um, I'll need to save frequently. Excuse me, because there are also some crashes. Um, I want to do survival. Subby and Breddy. I love this little icon with the, the thingy. The penguin. Look at him go. When he loads. Look at him go. Watch him. Keep a little eye on this little fellow. Watch him make a little progress. Look at him. Look at him. Are you going to do your little thing? Are you going to do your little hop? Do your little hop, baby, baby. Do your hop. Take your time. It's okay. No pressure. Take your time. Do your little trick. In the meantime, let me update stream information. We are now playing... Sub... Nordica. Done. Updated. Look at him. Look at him fall over. Look at my baby boy. Look at my baby boy. Look at him. He got a chubby little tummy. Look at my boy. My child, my son. Go, go, go. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The, game, the load time is a bit long, too. Um, it was long with Subnautica, the first one on the console. Um, but it, it was way... It's it's way longer than it is on this, even. And this has a cutscene. <laughs> it's not just you get sit in a chair and get hit in the head with a piece of metal. Again, full disclosure. My stream is still running good. My connection is still good. My frames are fine. If there's lots of dropping and stuttering, it is the game and is out of my control. I'll find my way back. I've read a lot of like reviews and and stuff of this game ahead of time and a lot of like a couple threads about this game because I was a little cautious because I know that Subnautica is really intense on computers and stuff. And, and at this point, it's just like the game is there. Just be patient and issues will be patched out in time. <laughs> Which, you know, not always ideal, but... Give it a hit, hitty, hitty. Use your leggies. Oh, I thought that was blood. I thought that was blood all over. <laughs> oh, good. It's just red lighting. Open my PDA. Not yet. I'm getting food. Oh. I'm getting food and some wadi. Oh my gosh, help. I'm trying to survive on this foreign planet. The clap my ass cheeks keeps alerting the native animals. P please pick up the water. Please get the hydrate. Get the hydrate. It's a crime. Holy smokes. Oh. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Leave me alone. That's not nice. Oh, I'm getting chunky. <laughs> it's little. Uh, it does not feel good. <laughs> Here, let me put this away. I think that'll help. Okay, 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 okay. It's better already. It's better already. It is already more decent. <laughs> 
I'm really shocked to say that um, the game functions way better in water than it does on the surface, and I have no idea why. I don't know if it's how they use the the things in the game that it's like more optimized for for wadi, but the wadi good, the the landy, the dry bits, not delicious, not crunchy or tasty or savory. Very dry. A kind of salty. Don't like it. Found the drop pod. I have a sister. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better. I, the end I, I, I know something about this game story. I don't know a lot about it. I know that there's a big fish that I want to she give the flu vaccine. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me. Wanna go to bed. Have a good time. Have a good have a good night. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. You're a criminal. But in a good way. You're a criminal in my heart. I like this a little bit more. I like this menu. It has a big radio tower. Impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Sorry, I'm clicking a lot of buttons very aggressively. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm aggressive. Cardiac criminal. Cardiac criminal actually sounds sick as fuck. Like don't lie. That would be radical. The cardiac killer, cardiac criminal. That would be cool as hell. Gimme, 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 gimme. I want, uh, I want, I want batteries. I want fish to eat and make friends with. Primarily to eat, but I would like to have a fish. I enjoy them. I enjoy their company. Yep. <laughs> that felt like a near crash. <laughs> I will give credit to this game, Subnautica, because it does do something I've never experienced before, which is feel a game um, hesitate, bitch. Um, it's like wild to feel like on the controller and like sitting in front of the screen and the game is like, I'm going to do it. Mm, maybe tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. It's an experience. <laughs> come here, come here, beep beep. Come here, beeper. Beeper. <gasps> you, you, no, come here, come here, no. I'm mm, a snack. Thank you. New creature discovered. Beeper. My little beeper. My little beep is... My little beeper. I actually wonder if the um, pod spawns semi-randomly like the uh, drop pod did in the, did in the first game. I wonder what that's like. I want to cook him and eat him. I want to make him a tasty snack. And I'm gonna maneuver around in my chair and make noise. All right, I have a scanner. God, I'm so glad I muted. <laughs> I just like rammed my chair right into my, my mic stand for like no reason. I can't imagine what that would have sounded like on stream. I know what it sounded like to me in my real life and it was very unpleasant. <laughs> oh, okay, you made it, you made it. Let 
let's resource gather, baby. Let's make some stuff. Let's make a gun that gives me intelligence. Let's make a mind gun. Oxy. For me, for baby. <gasps> Pangy! <gasps> Pangy! Pang Penguin. Uh oh. Already? Already. I. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh, but I get to see the little boy. I get to see the little fella. Hold on, let me open my value mixer real quick. And... Where are you, where are you, where are you? Okay, okay, okay. I'm turning the game up for me. <laughs> I like a scaly maw. I like a luna plant. I like, I don't like a funny mushroom. I despise it, in fact. <laughs> Can I have you? Can you be mine? Forever and always? <gasps> Oh? Yes. <laughs> okay, I've just committed a crime. Uh, first things first. Uh, we commit a sin. We've just stolen a child. Straight up. We have, we, we took somebody's kid. Look at him. Can I look at him? Can I not look at you? Can I not perceive you? Can I not perceive you, my precious child? There you are. Look at him. He's got a cold. Look at my mans. Look at my boy. Look at my son. He does very well in school. And he's mine forever. I'm never going to give him up. Uh, from this day forth, he'll always be in my inventory. He's a cute captive, yes. <laughs> but he is a captive nonetheless. Oxygen. He's my son, he's my boy, I love him. And I'm never gonna let him down. I'm never gonna hurt him. We're just gonna live a fanciful life together. Look at his funny little armies! Look at his funny little flippies. Look at him. Oh, what a darling. What a baby baby. What a what a lovable. I love him. Look at his little tail. Look at his stubby little feet. Look at his pudgy tummy. He's got nose holes. He's got big teeth. He's just like me. Deep down, we're all the same. On the inside. Deep down, we're all kind of pudgy. But deep down, we all have little footsies. Flashlight, okay. I need one. Okay, so I'm in trouble already. I don't have a flashlight. And it's midnight. I'm going to put him away, just in case. I'm going to put him away for now. I'm really afraid of letting him go too early. I like that there's more light already in this beginning area.
Uh oh. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. We made it on the other side. God, I can feel it. I can feel it in the controller. I know, I know. Don't suffocate me yet. I what's the the um horror creature in this game? I know that there's a couple, but what's like the reaper in this game? What am I supposed to be getting jump scared by? Battery and glass. Oh, I forgot my glass. My glasses. There we are. Thank you. Now I have... Well, first. No. <laughs> How do I put you away? <laughs> there we go. Okay, there we go. I need stuff. I need garbage. I need a little sea, sea glidey so I can carry myself all across the ocean. New creature discovered. I'm probably gonna need another oxygen tank. I don't, I should probably have checked to see what that requires <laughs> because I die in 10 seconds. Oxygen. And I'm gonna need as many peepers as I can fit in my inventory. Get over here, thank you, Arctic discovered. peeper. Oh, I have a feeling that the snow is not going to be pleasant <laughs> when it comes to running the game. Okay. Oh, special threat. I'm going to go to bed, but before. <laughs> I, my threat to you, and this is a real threat. This is a real potential harm on your life. I am going to explain to you what Homestuck is. If you don't watch your whole ass, we're going to sit down and have a real lecture. I'm going to speak very seriously about ho what Homestuck is to you, and you're going to regret it. Not because I'm going to be threatening you, but because then you'll know. And you do not want to know. As much as you're interested in what that reference is about your meme, this is an unpleasant experience. You're going to have a bad time. Oh. That was a close one. <laughs> exactly. You're, gonna, you're going to lose the blessing of ignorance. You're no longer going to be innocent. It'll be the death of impishment. Yes. Like the death of innocence, the death of impishments. Ah, mm. I'll see you around. Thank you for standing by. I appreciate it. What is my goal today? I think my goal is to cap out at about five hours. So we'll play 30 minutes and get into Subnautica. I like these games to vibe with. I really do.
part of me wants to go back and finish the original Subnautica, but now that I have um, the new version that I know nothing about, I really want to like experience the, this one for the first time. Because I admittedly went to the other one knowing exactly what to do. But this might be more interesting. I don't know. And I like the Arctic setting a little bit more. In general. In general, I think the Arctic is like underused. Because I think it can be both very beautiful and very scary. I think that there's a lot to love and hate about the Arctic. Personally. I would really love to visit there, unironically, wholeheartedly. I want to see it for myself. I want to experience how cold I can get. <laughs> uh, lubricant, battery, copper wire. Okay, all perfectly reasonable things to obtain. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I want to go back. Uh, oh, I get flippies with silicone rubber and fiber mesh. And do I have a knife? Yes. Silicone rubber and titanium. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I'm very much looking forward to, one, not crashing, and two, <laughs> um getting a stand with this microphone that I like quite a bit more so that I don't ruin my back whenever I stream a video game. <laughs> I think that would be lovely. Because part of me is like, I could totally go for um, like another two hours playing Subnautica and just like being kind of quiet and doing not much else. And the other part of me is like, Oxygen. can I sit like this for two more hours? And I don't think I could do it. <laughs> There's only so much additional padding you can add to a chair uh, before you realize that it's no longer the chair that you desire. <laughs> you are no longer uh, content. You're no longer sitting in a chair, you're sitting in a pseudo couch. Not gonna lie, I kind of hate that um, in my dialect, I guess I would say, the default word for me is couch, but I can never spell couch correctly. So online, I have to defer to sofa. And I hate that. It's like, damn, I, my words really do not match my, my text to speech. I so desperately want to say couch. But I can't, because I'm limited by my terrible comprehension of the English language. I can only say sofa. I'm unable to communicate with my peers. Gimme, gimme, yes. Personal tools, knife. Uh, oh, do I have that? No, I don't. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, it's edible, it's eatable. I'm going to have a sippy of water. And then I'm going to save. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I guess I could also use some water. So hold on, let me get some water while I get in water. Okay. Now I'm going to take my knife. That kind of looks like one of these penguins. I'm going to experience some serious chunkage. Serious chunkage. Felt it for a second there. I, I meant God for 20 seconds. I don't think that was meant to happen that way, but that's okay. 
This is all valid. This is all good. I see those little stocky things, and my brain says anglerfish, and I think that's very um, sea monkey of me. Um, but the other part of my brain says anglerfish, yummy, delicious. I can't wait. No. Speaking of sea monkey. You leave me alone, sea monkey. No, don't you dare come and kiss me on the face. I don't do kissy. I don't kissy. I only kissy my dog. And even then, I only kissy her gently on the top of her head. Respectfully. Oh, I need more than that. No kissy. No kissy. Give me your, give me your vine. I have a whole kissy redeem, but they don't, they don't have any points. They have no points. They have no money. They come to my chat with no money, no points, and they demand kissy, and I don't give kissy. Not for free. The only person who gets free kissy is my dog, who gets gentle kissy on the head very respectfully. <laughs> Gentle kissy, no kissy. Do you have a kissy redeem? Can I get a free kissy? Well, no, I wouldn't get it for free. I would pay. I would pay for the kissy. I'm I'm respecting the lock points economy, the the blo the loinks, the la points. Okay, this is nothing. Yes, you. You, citizen, do you have kissy? Fiber mash, give me the thingies. I would use kissy respectfully. No, I want finnies. Silicone rubber. Oh, damn it. I I use my silicone rubber to make a knife. I should try to travel on land. <laughs> I don't want to abuse power. I would never abuse another tuber's redeems for immoral reasons, unless I thought it was really, really funny. And I would not abuse Kissy. Abusive kissy is not funny. It's a serious crime. Punishable by law. Land shark, land shark. Are you spitting? No spitting. Oh, are you like, um... Oh my god, what are those called? Um, like a glar? Like those pseudo-alligators? A pseudo gator. Ooh, is this a toy? Is this a toy for baby? Yes, it is. Now, excuse me, baby's about to suffocate. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of a, okay. How would I, as a as a person who's half who's half fish, a good portion of the time, a reasonable amount of time, how do I travel on land? Do I like sit on a skateboard? Can I do that? Can I skatey boardy around? How do I get to my, my friends' homes to do collabos? Because that's it, definitely how it happens. I definitely travel to your home and sit right next to you while you play a video game when I collabo with you. An electric scooter. A Vespa.
Silicone. I need more silicone than I do lubricant. Flippies, please. I have to go fast. I can't take this anymore. Oh, thank God. I, I auto-equip the flippies. I'm so used to having flippies in my everyday life. Oh, gosh, goodness gracious. Little flippies, little flippy flippies, little floppies. Ooh, I have lead already. Ooh. I'm going to save. Again, save frequently seems to be a big thing. Congratulations. What is minor? Like Minecraft? There are many subclasses I know in FFX. I, um, but I don't know which ones are worthwhile. I don't know which ones are worth investing their time. And I don't know how you mine. I don't see any crafts in, in Final Fantasy. I don't know how you mine them. How can you mine them if they're not there? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay, damn. <laughs> Okay, so there's kelp on all sides. I'm surrounded by kelp. I think that's a good thing. So far, there are lots of changes I like to this game. <laughs> I like the durability bar. And I like that it's not a percentage number. Oxygen. Okay, okay, okay. I need an O2 take so bad. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, big winnie. Ooh, big winnie. Big win. Big cash money right here. Cash money already. I hope I don't die. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Begin. Light stick. Oxygen. Okay, okay, okay. I know I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning at the game. Please don't kill me right now. I'm winning. <gasps> Ooh. More big money. Is that a diving cage? Can I get in there? Can you please let me in there? Please win. No. <gasps> oh, yes, it's a platform. Can I get up? Can I have uppies, please? Can you please let me uppy? Please, please, please. How do I get in here? How do I get one of you? Is this a puzzle? Hold on, let me see if I can get up here. Oh, just barely. <laughs> I'm sorry, by the way, if anyone is, is scared by this kind of thing. It really doesn't bother me, so I don't think about it. <laughs> I guess it makes sense that it wouldn't bother me. I don't normally breathe. Yeah, babe, I get it. I want this. Oh, I can scan. I can take their desk. Stack on you, get uppies. Together we form the ultimate uppie. Oh, mineral detector. That seems helpful. Now, excuse me. Yep. Going back in. New blueprint synthesized. 
idea that we form the size of an average person. I think together we might finally be tall enough to um, I, just get my brother square in the face. Just get him. I need someone who's at least, who can at least make me a foot taller to get my revenge. <laughs> He's a regular size sleeper. I'm a miniature. I got copy. Is this not enough copy? No, I need two. I need three in total. Okay, fun sized. Do you think that um, that lady eats the fun size Kit Kats the same way? Or do you think it's only the biggies? What do I need, by the way, for... Oh, I have almost everything for that. I have... I'm approaching for that one. O2 tank. I need fiber mesh, which I have. Hydrate, baby. I will hydrate. Thank you, Zero. You've been extremely pleasant. Hold on. Let me hydrate for you. You are very pleasant. I enjoy seeing you around. I'm almost out of Wadi. Why do I keep adding the E? What? I don't really want to be baby. I really don't. <laughs> Why do we keep doing the E? Give me the O2 tank. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. Ooh. The standard oxygen tank. That is so much more convenient. <laughs> and VIP breathing. Oh, I have VIP breathing. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta turn my spritzy off. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm not thinking. I'm too f busy focused on the water around me. I'm not thinking about the water going into my face and mouth. This game is already significantly less of a grind than the first one, which I really appreciate because in the first game I felt like a lot of my time was just committed to getting enough food and water to make it to the end of the day and then not having enough food and water for the, <laughs> for the rest of the day like tomorrow and then i would just like um go back into my house and craft a couple items and scarf down some very pathetic fish and then go back out and catch more pathetic fish to scarf down but like my hunger and water has like barely gone down like, I've only eaten and drinking once. Eaten and drinking. Eaten and drank a single time. And that's, that's nice. <gasps> My peeper. I let him go. I let him go. <gasps> and they immediately offered me an item that allows me to detect my nearby... <gasps> Oh my gosh, what are you? Look at him. Look at him. No, you piss off, monkey. Not interested. He's being... Look at his face. Look at his little mouth. He gives me free air. No, no, piss off. You took my... I'm gonna... Get back here. I got a knife. You fucking give that right back. I am not entertained. I am not entertained, baby. Baby, I am not entertained. Whole fish is terrible. I don't like it. 
I like him immensely. I'm enjoying his company, like, wonderfully. Oh, I froze. I'm a sheet of ice. Holy shit. And I'm gonna drown. Boobs on ice. Please keep me on ice. If I go bad, I produce dangerous ammonia, which can be fatal to customers. And then Gordon Ramsay is going to have to call 911. Have, have y'all ever seen that episode of uh, Kitchen Nightmares where Gordon Ramsay has to call an ambulance for a, a restaurant patron after they eat expired lobster, causing them to get immediate ammonia poisoning? <laughs> it's such a good one. It's such a, like, it's one of those disaster episodes where, like, nothing is ever saved. But, God, do I love... <laughs> You're a 911 operator and um, you're getting a call and you're looking for an emergency and suddenly you're like, oh my god, Gordon Ramsay? <gasps> can I get, can you say something for my, my voicemail? Can you say something for your my family while you're on the phone? And it's like somebody's about to fucking die. Someone just ate a fatal amount of, of emoji. <laughs> No, no way! I cooked the right fish. I didn't make a mistake. Actually, after this, I think I really want to watch some Kitchen Nightmares. I think I want to sit in bed and watch Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> I am a little up in the air about the art stream tomorrow. Um, just because I've been working really hard on a commission that is very much, like, confidential. Uh... And I don't have much else to go for. Oh, we're about to come up on time as well. So I'm going to take this time to save. And I don't have much else. I would just basically be making Bruce's for a whole stream. And I just don't know. We might play more of this game. I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to have to see how I feel in the morning. Because sometimes I wake up and I'm ready to start 100 art projects. And just work all day. And other times I wake up and it's like... I just wish I didn't. Just period, end of story. Just did not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I want to see how I feel. I, either way, it's going to be a vibe stream. Um, I found way, way, way more Panya music. I found a whole other album for Panya. Uh, I think it's 2014 with the idol character so the Pagia playlist has like tripled not tripled it i just added like 15 more songs which is like more significantly more i guess i'm not done i guess i'm picking up these rocks first but then i'll go back to my hide hole and be done <laughs> uh yeah yeah I don't know how I feel tomorrow, but I'll I'll let you know. I would really like to feel good enough to sit at my desk instead of in front of my uh, TV, so that we don't have to sit like this. But I mean, beggars can't be choosers. I'm incredibly surprised at my Kingdom Hearts stamina, and the fact that I built beat two worlds today, which makes me think maybe foolishly that I might be able to beat Kingdom Hearts 2. I feel like I have a long way to go, but I feel like when I, today was a day of, okay, this is doable. Well, I'm gonna move my chatting screen. Don't make that noise at me. Don't do that. In the meantime, in the background, I'm saving for like a fourth time in a row. Uh, that's, that's about it. 
I maybe went a little bit too long today because I've uh, I've gone from feeling good I can still do this into the I've been going too long and I can't do this anymore. I've hit a I've hit the wall. I've I've turned the corner. I've hit the wall. I've crossed the threshold. <laughs> but that's okay. I think four hour streams like regularly are like enough for me. Ah, oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> Door is stuck. Door is stuck. I'm stuck, and my pajama pants are also stuck. That's okay, though. This is okay. This is okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna live. I I think three and a half to four hour long streams are like pretty normal for me. Yeah, exactly. Four hours is the sweet spot of. Um, coming down from a stream, like, I feel like there's a midpoint in a stream where I'm like, let's go, let's fucking go. And then there's like a, like a short down point. And I feel like this is the good point between the let's fucking go and I'm so tired, I'm going to cry. <laughs> this isn't so bad. Very calm for a, for a Kingdom Hearts stream, very calm. I think I'll try to schedule another one soon. Don't tell Ezure. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Um, that's about it. I'm going to put on my little Pongy music. I'm going to check for a little break. I can officially unmute this. I can officially remute that. Oh my god, I have so many Discord pings right now. What are you doing? <laughs> Who is calling me? <laughs> Wherever you are, stop it. Cut it out. Cut it out. Don't do that. No, I'm just kidding. Contact me. Contact me all the time. No, it's okay. I appreciate lurking. I do not mind lurking at all. Oh, are we ending? Yes. <laughs> But that's okay. How are you? How are you? We're looking for a um We're looking for a a raid. We're listening to some happy music, some happy music. It's okay. I I'm going to take this time cuz I'm in a good vibe. <laughs> to remind people that Pi does really, really good art. And if you're not following them already on Twitter, uh, you should be. Oh, good. I almost never get to raid Archwizard Emery and Archwizard Emery is still streaming, which is finally my chance to get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that, that nerd, that loser. I, I really like Pi's art. Pi does some complicated things that I could never do, like armor and stuff and weathering. And I'm, I'm super impressed by that. And I think that that deserves some Twitter clout, I guess. <laughs> That's all I can offer in my current time, in my current state. Black slash raid. <laughs> Uh, fuck, I should know how to spell this by now. I typed this out so many times as a joke, I should know how to spell their, uh, Twitch name off the back of my mind, but I don't. I do not. I appreciate it, but this ain't about- <laughs> this ain't about me. <laughs> this ain't about me. It's about a pie that holds military control. It's about a pie with- the power of government with the backing of the entire US military force apparently evidently da -da 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 -da. okay <laughs> tomorrow's stream is a little up in the air but whatever it is we'll be vibing um i'll try to let everybody know as far as i can ahead of time i love and appreciate you i appreciate your patience I appreciate your time. Sunday vibes, big peace sign, big shark with a peace sign. I'm gonna try and encourage raid stuff by saying if you have the shrimp emote, please use the shrimp. 
Uh, I know that that's a thing people like to do. So I think that's gonna be the thing that we do. We go into a summons chat, we shrimp. Good old fashioned shrimp. God, I hope, I hope this mic stand comes in soon. I hope it comes in a day sooner than expected. God, I, I need two Advil in a time. I love you and I appreciate you. Let's go shrimp. Let's have a shrimp. I love you. Good night. Bye-bye.